Okay, good afternoon teachers at magandang magandang hapon po sa ating lahat, sa ating mga live viewers for this afternoon sa session. So this will be our uh, part one of our uh, April series. No? So this will be, um, ito po ay part ng eight session series. No? So this will be our, for, for, ano, no? uh, our first ever uh, longest series ever. No? Uh, we haven't had like an eight session series. Uh, for uh, since we started in Kagapay Tier Support. So ito yung po yung magiging uh, first ever uh, uh, longest series natin. So magandang magandang hapon po sa ating lahat and welcome to the openings, um, opening session um, part of our April series. Okay? So all about Google for Education tools. Okay? So ito po ay um, a special series that, that we designed no, for two main reasons. Okay? So unang-una, uh, uh, it's all about uh, to promote um, the use of Google for Education tools. Okay? Kasi nininiwala kami na malaki ang may tutulong and um, mayaambag ng Google for Education tools, no? lalo na po sa mga teachers natin, sa mga guru po natin na sumasabak ngayon sa distance learning. And lalo na po sa mga estudyante rin natin. No? Okay? Uh, and of course, no, uh, even to our parents. Okay? So uh, these tools would actually be very, very helpful in delivering uh, online distance learning. At second, no, uh, isang special reason okay, uh, for designing this series is uh, a, a very uh, close to heart project no? uh, because um, part of our project in Kaagapay Tissue Support is the um, Google Certified Educators Training. Okay? And uh, this series was actually also primarily designed okay, uh, in order to showcase um, all of those who have passed the Google Certified Educators exam uh, examination. Okay? So um, what you're going to see now, teachers, no, in this entire series, okay, are all teachers who have passed their Google Certified, uh, their certification uh, for the Google Certified Educators um, Level 1. Okay? So we will be showcasing them okay? because uh, we, we believe and we are confident no, in their skills okay? uh, sa paggamit ng uh, Google for Education tools. Okay? Uh, and again, teachers, no, maniwala kayo sa hindi. Okay? Uh, marami po sa kanila ay mas magagaling pa sa akin no, sa paggamit ng iba't ibang mga tools for Google for Education. Okay? Uh, at ito mga teachers na to um, who you will witness for the entire April series will be uh, showcasing no different tools okay, and different uh, uses and practical applications of this Google for Education tools in education, most especially, okay, most particularly in distance learning. Okay, so yung po yung goals natin, okay? So I hope teachers that you'll enjoy the entire series, no, uh, and uh, we'll begin with perhaps one of our uh, biggest tools, no, uh, in Google for Education tools, okay. And we're going to build everything from here. Okay? So we're going to start today with Google Classroom. Okay? But before we um, we um, uh, before I introduce okay, our uh, our speakers for today, we're going to have three speakers for today. Three brilliant speakers for today. Okay? Um, who will be sharing with us you know, how to use Google Classroom um, in um, in distance learning. Uh, in building your virtual classes. Okay, but before we do that, let me first greet teachers uh, very, very quickly. No, I'd like to uh, do a, a very quick shout out uh, to our teachers. So please uh, do let me know your uh, your name, location, uh, school uh, in uh, in our live chat so I could uh, uh, do a shout out for you. Okay. Uh, so um, uh, let's begin with some of those. Okay, uh, Miss Anjo, sorry, sorry, Anjo de la Cruz. Uh, sorry, uh, Joanna de la Cruz, watching from uh, Bulso Malolos. Okay, Bula, I think this is Bulacan State University. Um, um, good afternoon, uh, Miss Jaira. Okay, uh, one of our um, Google Certified Educator um, um, in in our group no, in KT in uh, Kaagapay Teacher Support. Um, Miss Leila, yes, you can uh, still continue your activities no uh, until you get uh, and um, it's up to you when to take your examination. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Sir uh, Bobby Dagohoy from Marcelino National High School Antipolo City. So, uh, good afternoon po, Kapit Bahay. Okay. Uh, taga, taga Dalig lang po kami, Barangay Dalig Antipolo City. And of course, uh, again, teachers, no, by the way, if you have, you're going to have questions okay, um, in our session for today, please um, send them in our, uh, uh, in our live chat today because we also have um, so many Google certified educators in our live chat, no? So right now, for example, si uh, Miss Jaira is there. Um, shout out to uh, Sir um, Sir Neil, uh, Neil, Sir Chris Nielsen, Sir Neil uh, Asino, who's also a Google certified educator. Um, shout out to uh, Miss Shaina Eloisa Kaunin from 
Polo National High School. We just have a recently won um, passer from Polo National High School, uh, Sir Patrick okay? um, Morgado, if I'm not mistaken. Okay? Uh, good afternoon, Miss Gia May uh, Londoño from Ginobatan, Albay. Okay? Um, Josefa uh, um, Antoinette Flogensio from Southeast Asia Institute of Trade and Technology Incorporated. Good afternoon, uh, Ms. Susana Caranto. Good afternoon po. Sir Richard uh, Rosilio from Cavite State University, uh, 13 Martires City Campus. Uh, good afternoon, Sir, um, Sir John. Okay. Okay. Uh, medyo mabilis na yung galaw ng ating uh, live chat. Okay. And... Um, Teacher Liz from uh, Makabebe is um, SD of Pampanga. Okay, Miss Jennifer Bogarin from uh, Pananaque City College. Okay, Miss uh, Alma Politano from Bulacan State University. Mukhang maraming taga Bulacan. Um, alam na natin ang uh, reason bakit madami tayong taga Bulacan for today. <laughs> uh, Miss Mary Campus from um, ang haba na, um, SLUC Agoo La Union. Okay, yan. Okay. And okay, teachers, now if I miss some of you in the live chat, please uh, do pardon me. No, medyo mabilis o makiat ang ating live chat. Good afternoon to Sir Bernardo uh, Ramos from Kalaokan City, Ebon Momongan from uh, CIT Cebu City. We always have viewers from CIT Cebu City. No, um, so thank you so much for uh, teachers, faculty from um, CICT uh, Cebu City for always uh, being with us. No, uh, Miss Sandra Lin. Digao, um, Alto um, ES, SD Ocalamba City. Okay. Uh, Miss Mila uh, Oraka, Balcolod City. Master Diodi, one of our Google Certified Educators as well in, that, uh, in our live chat today. Miss Loida Obar from La Union Division. Okay, so we'll continue later, teachers, no, with the rest of uh, the shout out and uh, greetings. No, uh, we, we can't finish all of you, all of the greetings today because uh, baka po tayo ng oras, no? So we'll just, we'd like to dedicate much of our time today uh, for our um, speakers, no, uh, to be able to um, talk about Google Classroom and how to build virtual classes using Google Classroom. Okay, so um, teachers, um, before we um, start no, and I introduce our um, speakers for today, let me first um, ano, no, congratulate, by the way, okay, our uh, Batch 9. Okay, we have recently welcomed our Batch 9 for the Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals Program. Their, uh, their, classes, their class will start on April 26, okay? And as well as welcome to uh, the Batch 1, okay? of our first ever, so this is the first ever, um, this is the start of the Google Workspace for Education Advanced Training Program, okay? And uh, much of, um, uh, okay, all of our passers no, from Kaagapay Digital Support will be part of the batch one no, for the um, uh, training uh, to become Google um, Cert, uh, Google Cert of Educator Level 2. Okay, so hopefully, and of course, we also welcome no others okay, um, outside of the group uh, to join us. Okay, so we're also have, going to have now our um, advanced training. Okay, now, um, sorry, okay, and okay, um, before we proceed, no, I'd like to inform everyone that this is not just this is just the beginning of our uh, entire series. No, so we have an entire um, uh, eight session series okay so we, um, this today's our day one okay our part one okay and will end on april 30. okay so please uh please be reminded that our schedule is every thursday and every saturday except for april 30 april 30 will fall on a friday okay so all thursday events okay will be uh, 5 p.m and all saturday events will be um 2 p.m okay the Friday event on April 30 will be um, um, at 2 p.m. Okay, so please mark your calendars, Kate. Okay? Uh, if you haven't added uh, the Kaagapay Teacher Support Calendar, please do add it already so that you will never miss any event uh, from our group, okay? So um, I'd like to know, um, to take this honor, Kate, okay, to present you know, our first speaker for today, okay? Um, who will be um, sharing with us, okay? Um, um, or introducing to us okay, our topic for today okay, uh, and also laying the foundation for our discussion for today. Uh, so uh, our first speaker for today, um, who I'm very, very proud no, to, uh, to introduce to all of you. Okay? Um, so our sp first speaker for today is um, uh, Professor Hamim B. Kasan. Okay? 
Okay, um, Professor uh, uh, Hamim uh, B. Kasan, uh, Assistant Professor Hamim B. Kasan earned his uh, AB English at Mindanao State University, Marawi Campus, last 2014. He also earned his Master of Arts in Education, major in English, language teaching at uh, Liceo de Cagayan uh, University, last 2019. He also passed the 2019 LET and passed the GCE1 exam last March, uh, March 2021. He's currently taking his doc Doctor of Arts in Literature and Communication at Cebu Normal University. Assistant Professor Kasan teaches purposive communication of art appreciation and literary criticism at English Department of Mindanao State University. He's teaching uh, for more than seven years uh, since 2014. He has presented his researches to various national and international research conferences and published his research to a refereed uh, open access international journal. His research interests include language uh, testing, English language teaching, educational technology, and literary criticism. He was an academic uh, fellow at um, Kennesaw um, State University, Atlanta, USA, last 2018. He was one of the 27 Philippine Youth Ambassadors during the 42nd ship for Southeast Asian Youth Program who represented the Philippines to Japan, Malaysia, Myanmar, and Vietnam last 2018. So let us, let us all welcome our first speaker for today, uh, Professor uh, B. Kasan. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Yeah. Sir, uh, you're, uh, you're still muted. Okay, uh, Oh, yes. Sorry. Yes, yeah. uh, thank you so much, Sir Adun. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Yes, Magandang so, hapon uh, sa ating mga, mga viewers. Yes. So, uh, sir, ano, no? uh, before tayo mag-start, uh, I'll be asking you already no, uh, uh, the overview of our sessions for today. Uh, for the first session, okay, to the second speaker, to the uh, third speaker. So, what will uh, our audience be expecting for today okay, before we proceed with your session? Oh, Can you give yeah. us like a, a very, uh, very quick overview? Yung overview ng aming lessons, uh, lesson today will always be about the Google Classroom. So uh, my task today is to introduce to you what is Google Classroom, the differences between the, the Google for Education Workspace account and the personal account, and also would uh, walk you through on how to set up your own classroom. Okay, yeah. Thank you, thank you, Maraming Salamat, uh, Professor Hamim. And of course, later, teachers, no, um, the sessions for today, okay, will um, go for the entire 90 minutes to little po tayo, no, from uh, Professor Hamim to the second speaker to the third speaker for today. Uh, and we will have a panel discussion later, okay? So if you have questions, if you have um, queries about Google Classroom and how to set it up, mga technical questions, then you might want to uh, to reserve that towards the end so we could properly address them, okay? But if not, you can um, throw it in the li live chat. Don't forget, we have massive amount of Google certified uh, educators in our live chat today uh, who will be answering all of your questions, okay? So, um, Professor Mim, I'll be um, giving you the floor now, okay? Um, to start your session, uh, to begin our April series. Okay. Thank you so much, Sir Franco. Uh, magandang hapon ulit sa ating mga viewers. Uh, alam kong marami tayong mga work and personal activities or responsibilities, pero nagpapasalamat po kami because you chose to spend your afternoon for today's lecture on building virtual classes using Google for Education tools. So let me share my, my screen. Uh, are you seeing my screen? All right. So we are very thankful that you chose to spend your afternoon for today's lecture on building virtual classes using Google for education tools. Pero ang focus po natin ngayon ay ang Google Classroom. So we will walk you through the most popular learning management system, which is the Google Classroom. So being a teacher during this health crisis ano, is very challenging kasi we are forced to migrate 
from a traditional classroom setting to a virtual and highly technological classroom. So that is why it is very crucial to learn how to utilize our facilitative e-tools such as the Google Classroom. So I will walk you, I will introduce to you what is the Google Classroom. So ito po ano, ang, ang Google Classroom po is, is a free, free learning management system or the LMS that is developed and powered by Google for schools. So it was publicly released last August 12, 2014. So ang primary purpose po ng Google Classroom is to streamline the process of sharing files between teachers and students. So wag po kayong mag-alala kasi si Google Classroom, it requires low bandwidth at saka it can run in all types of processors. Another thing, another unique thing about Google Classroom is it integrates Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Gmail, and Calendar. These tools will be discussed further in our April series. But now, ang ifo-focus po natin ay ang Google Classroom. So again po, si Google Classroom, it integrates all of these tools such as the Docs, the Sheets, Slides, Gmail, and Calendar into a cohesive platform to manage student and teacher communication. So ano po yung mga requirements? Paano tayo makakaset up ng isang Google Classroom? So kailangan po natin ng ating mobile device or yung ating cellphone or pwede rin po tayong magkaroon ng laptop para makaset up po tayo ng Google Classroom. Another requirement po ay ang internet connection. So wag po tayong mag-alala again kasi Google Classroom it requires a low bandwidth. And, and the last requirement, kailangan meron po tayong Gmail account. So again po, no, mga teachers, ang requirements in setting up a Google Classroom ay your mobile device or laptop, internet connection, at saka Gmail account. Ayan po. So ano po yung mga access points for Google Classroom? So saan po natin ma-access ma ma yung Google Classroom? So we can access your Google, the Google Classroom through your Google Chrome. So, pwede po tayong mag-encode sa ating Google Chrome ng classroom.google.com para makapasok po tayo sa Google Classroom. This is if you are using your desktop. Pwede rin po nating ma-access ang ating Google Classroom using your Gmail account. So, pwede po tayong pumunta sa www.gmail.com and then ma-access po natin doon sa ating waffle style sa gilid yung ating Google Classroom. Mamaya, I will walk you through kung paano po mag-set up ng Google Classroom. Or pwede rin po na sa ating mobile device. Sa mobile app na which is available on iStore and Google Play. So, si Google Classroom po, free po siya na dina-download sa ating mobile app. Alright po? So, again po, yung access points for Google Classroom ay ang Google Chrome. I-encode lang po natin yung classroom.google.com para makapasok tayo sa Google Classroom. Or pwede rin po na puntahan yung Gmail account ninyo, you can access your G Google Classroom there. Lastly, pwede rin po kayo mag-download ng Google Classroom app sa Google Play ninyo if you are using Android or pwede rin po sa iStore if you are using your iPhone. So, yun po. So, ano, ano yung features? Ano yung features? No? What are the differences between your Google for Workspace Education account and your personal account? So, magkaiba po yan. No? May mga features ang Google for Workspace Education account at saka yung personal account. So, ano po yung pinagkaiba nila? No? Si Google for Workspace Education Account, yan po yung mga accounts na nagtatapos sa .edu.ph or .gov.ph. Yung personal account naman po, yan po yung mga nagtatapos ng at gmail.com. So anong meron si Google for Workspace Education Account? So again, si Google for Workspace Education Account, nakaka-integrate po siya ng Google Meet. While yung personal account, Limited po siya. Ang kagandahan din po sa Google for Workspace Education account, nagbibigay din po siya ng summaries for guardians, 
At saka pwede niyo pwede rin niyo pong ma-invite ang guardians ng mga estudyante ninyo. So kung meron pa kayong i-invite na student, pwede rin pwede niyo rin pong i-invite ang kanilang guardians. So yan po yung feature na mayroon si Google for Workspace Education account na wala ang personal account. And then lastly, we have the security and the importing of grades. Si security, of course po, mas secure ang domain ni Google for Workspace Education account compared to your personal account. At saka sa pinakahuli po, hindi po nakaka-import ng grades yung personal account. Mas uh, allowed po si Google for Workspace Education account na mag-import ng grades from Google Classroom. So later po, ma madidiscuss po yan ng aking mga kasamahan on the difference between your Google for Workspace Education account at saka yung kanilang personal account. Alright po. So ayan. So let's start setting up your own Google Classroom. So let me share my... Other tab. Okay. So ito po ang aking Google for, Work, for Education Workspace account. So kung makikita po natin, mayroon dito na waffle. So nag, dito po ako nag-login sa aking mail.google.com, sa aking Gmail na account. And then, dito po tayo pupunta sa may waffle dito na side. Kung makikita niyo po ito, no? Ito po na side, itong nine dots, Google Apps. Makikita niyo po dito yung Google Classroom. So, nandito po siya sa pinakababa. Pwede rin niyo po yung i-drag sa taas para easier ang access ng Google Classroom. Alright? So, kung papasok po tayo sa Google Classroom, by the way po, teachers, no, I'm using my... Uh, my Google for Education Workspace account. So, ayan po, no? Nakapasok na ako sa aking Google Class. So, paano po tayo magsiset up ng sarili nating Google Classroom? So, ganito po, ano? I-click nyo po yung inyong, itong plus sign, ano? Nakatabi ng picture at saka ng waffle. I-click po natin itong waffle sign. Makikita po natin yung create or join a class. Um, sir right. Hamim, Professor yes, Hamim, naka isang yes, ibang tab yata yung nakashare ngayon, pakicheck muna. Ang nakikita namin yung okay. email email tab. Email tab. Ito yes. po? Yes. Nakikita niyo po ito? Uh -oh. Okay. Pero hindi pa namin nakikita yung Google Classroom. Oh, okay. Thank you, yes. Sir Adun. Welcome po. Wait lang, wait lang po teachers no. Um, so again teachers, madaming access points si ano no si um, si Google Classroom. Yes. Okay? Actually I suggest na gamitin niyo lahat no. Like meron kayong access sa desktop niyo, may access kayo kay um, sa laptop, may access din kay mobile no. Actually si mobile version is very very helpful na pakalaking tulong niya in um, ano in facilitating and managing your classes. Okay. Go ahead, um, go ahead sir uh, Professor Hamim. All right. So thank you sir no sa supplement na information. So pagpasok niyo po sa inyong classroom account, no? Makikita niyo po itong plus sign dito sa pinaka sa right side, upper right corner ng inyong Google. So makikita niyo itong plus sign so create or join a class. So kung, kung kayo po ay teacher, you will create a class. Kung student naman po kayo, you will join the class. Alright po. So since teachers po tayo, magka-create tayo ng class. So i-click lang po natin itong create class. So pag nag-create po tayo ng class, so si Google Classroom, itatanong po niya kung ano yung class name, yung section, yung subject, at saka yung room. So if you fill out po natin ito para maka-create po tayo ng ating Google Classroom. So for example, you will create a class, let's say, KTSG class. Tapos section niya, let's say, section 1. 
example, yung subject, let's say, kung subject niya is, it's about Google Classroom. And then yung room, let's say, ang room ninyo is room 420. Example lang po ito, ano? So pag na-fill out niyo na po itong details, pwede niyo na pong i-create ang inyong Google Class. So pipindutin lang po natin itong create button sa baba. No, ito pong create. Alright, so I will click this one, create. So, nagka-create na po siya. Ayan. So, pag na-create na po siya, papasok na po kayo sa inyong own Google Classroom. Alright. So, para po sa ibang details ng Google Stream at saka sa Google Classroom and the people and the grades, uh, yung aking pong teammates ang magdi-discuss further on how to utilize the buttons and all of the fe other features of your Google Classroom. So, yun lamang po yung aking uh, cover for today on how to set up your Google Classroom. So, yun lamang po, teachers. Sir Adun? Um, thank you, uh, Professor Hamim. No, I think um, since we're just short, no, uh, yet na kumshim yung uh, we have we have time actually too. If our audience would like to ask questions, okay, uh, clarify things. Yes, okay? no. Um, so teachers, bakak mayroon kayo questions in terms of like um, um, differences ng Google account, no, um, sa Google Classroom, okay. So malaki po talaga ang difference, teachers. No, you can access. Um, you can, um, there, there are more um, features, no, kapag ang ginagamit natin ay Google Workspace for Education accounts natin, okay? Uh, teachers, baka alam na lito tayo, no, that's formerly your G Suite accounts, okay? So, kung meron po kayong ginagamit, for example, na DepEd account, okay, o yung mga .gov, .ph, okay? Um, or mga .edu, .ph, no, that's, uh, those are usually our uh, Google Workspace for Education accounts natin. And nakita, uh, Professor Ramim, marami salamat for yes, pointing sir. out the difference, no? Um, so, yung mga difference na yung teachers actually spell a lot of difference, no? <laughs> Kasi, for example, kapag yes, gumagamit ka ng Google Workspace for Education, meron kang uh, parent summary. So, pwede ka magpadala ng uh, summary reports, no, to to the parents. Um, pero, teachers, no, pag, pag sinabing um, invite guardians, okay? hindi makikita ng guardians lahat ng nangyayari sa class, no? Uh, because that's also to protect the integrity of the class, okay? So, usually, uh, yung ating um, um, guardian summary um, report, okay? Ang nakikita lang ng mga parents natin ay mga missed requirements, okay? Mga late submissions, okay? Um, at mga ongoing assessments, okay? Pero, for example, mga posts sa stream, mga other posts, hindi po nakikita ng ating guardians, Okay? And again, that's only for Google Workspace for Education, okay? Plus, I'd like to say, no, um, Professor Hamim, I'd like to agree about the security, okay? Napakalaking bagay niya, yes. okay? Kasi kapag personal account ang gamit yung teachers, ang daling ma mag-leak ng mga na codes, uh, kung sino-sino yung mga kasali sa classes, lalo na for, ano, no, for uh, pag, uh, online classes, ang gulo niyan teachers kapag... Um, may mga sumasali bigla ng mga hindi nyo pala studyante, okay? So, thank you so much for pointing that. Um, Professor Hamim, I think we have a question from our audience. Yes, po. Um, this one is from um, uh, Teacher Angela Elaine El Jacinto. Who is most likely to provide education account? Is it a school or as teacher who want to create our own account? Ay, baka, bas, uh, ako, ako nalang, go ahead, sir, ano, Professor Hamim. No, uh, Kasi ang ating uh, Google for Education na account, uh, workspace account rather, ay pinoprovide po yan ng ating school. Kasi yung school po yung may-ari ng admin console. No? Sila po yung nagpo-provide, nag-generate ng ating uh, Google for Education na uh, accounts. So yung school po. Pero pwede rin po kayong mag-avail, mag-subscribe sa Gmail or sa Google para makagawa din po kayo ng inyong Google for Workspace uh, education account. Yan. Sir? Thank you po. No? Yes po. Maraming salamat. So, um, Teacher Angela, hindi siya, uh, the Google Workspace for Education account, hindi siya pwedeng iset up individually. Okay? So, tama si Professor Mim, no? that's uh, institutional. Okay? So, uh, first and foremost, uh, by the way mo, uh, Professor Mim, para lang for the information of many, uh, gusto ko lang silang inform 
that uh, Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals, the first uh, level, the first tier of the Google Workspace for Education account is actually free. Okay, wala pong bayad yun, no? Uh, but your school had to be or have to be um, recognized first. Okay, so kailangan nyo mag-submit ng uh, documents. At once Google confirms that you are um, a, rec a government recognized school, they will provide you a free Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals account. Okay? Mamaya, siguro, Professor, may pag-usapan natin yung ibang Google accounts, no? Uh, yung ibang tiers yes. ng Google Workspace for Education. We have one more question from um, Ms. Um, Sherry Lynn uh, Montehermoso. Okay? How many classrooms can we create? Okay. May difference yan, no? Uh, in terms of, um, of classes that you can create, no? Um, so for, for Google Workspace for Education, of course, wala tayong limit, no? You can create as many classes as you want, as you can, no? Okay? Pero sana naman hindi tayo umabot ng like 1,000 classes, no? <laughs> sana hindi naman ganun kadami yung kailangan yung create ng classes. Uh, medyo sobrang burden, eh? Sobrang dami mong classes, no? Uh, but for, for the personal account, no, Professor Hamim and uh, Teacher uh, Sherry Lynn, wala rin po kayong limit, pero may limit kayo per day. Hindi kayo pwede mag-set up ng more than 30 classes per day. Okay. Plus, ano rin yan, may, may limits din in terms of mga um, invitations. Okay. Um, for example, for, um, for the Google Workspace for Education, okay, meron kayong 1,000 limit. Uh, pero for the personal account, 200 TBT lang yan. Okay. Pero I don't think naman, Professor Ramim, wala naman siguro tayong classes that's, that goes beyond 200 TBT. No? Unless... Oo nga. Uh, <laughs> parang nakakano naman, uh, except, no, except siguro sa sa training natin sa kaagapay teacher mm -hmm. support kasi madami tayong students pero for a regular class dapat hindi naman nag-exceed ng like 200 students no mm -hmm. um baka lang din um uh, syempre yung mga teachers no would combine classes which i think no uh, what's your opinion about that professor I mean, kasi personally i don't like combining classes into one google class Oo nga, medyo nakakalito kasi kapag let's say different sections, hindi maganda na kinocombine kasi yes. magkakalito talaga in terms of the sections. Yes. Tsaka pag, sir, pag sir, Professor Mim, pag nagsisend ang mga requirements, ng mga information, mm -hmm. no, nakakalito kapag magkakasama sila. So I think naman wala naman tayong class that goes beyond that number. No? So per class, I think sa Pilipinas ang average natin is around 50 to 60 students, no? which is way beyond the standard no dapat ang standard natin 40 kaya lang syempre uh, given our circumstances no so again um i think we have no we have we know more have i one more question uh, professor man before i let you go no um, yes. yeah this is from miss lorena villano sir franco uh, pero we'll try to answer both no uh, teacher lorena sir franco you have mentioned about guardian summers is it possible to invite a guardian with yahoo email account um as far as I know, hindi naman siya limited to Google account. Okay? So, kailangan lang meron kang email okay? uh, na ma-provide no? where um, communications, where the information will be sent. Okay? So, as far as I know, dapat hindi yan maging limitation. Teacher Lorena. Okay. okay. So, teachers, for the rest of the questions, we'll uh, ask Professor Hamim later no, during the panel discussion. Professor Hamim, that biglang may mga questions, but uh, we'll let you go for now, no? And uh, we'll welcome our second speaker for today, okay? So, teachers, thank you, uh, thank you Professor Hamim, and we'll um, um, welcome you back later again, okay? Um, during our panel discussion, okay? Now, teachers, um, let us now go to our second um, speaker for today, okay? Um, who is also very young, no? Uh, na, medyo na, na ano ako sa pagiging young nito ang speakers natin ngayon. Um, but that they're very young, no? And, and I think, um, uh, and you see, you've seen kanina, uh, si Professor Hamim, um, um, given at a young age na yung mga, yung mga achievements. And then you, we have another speaker for today, so also very young, and also um, blazing through already, no? Um, uh, into, ano, into, um, into this uh, path, no? Uh, for example, of sharing, of, uh, of uh, uh, technology integration, and um, the future is bright no, for education given this kind of educators that we have. Okay, so that's, uh, kaya, kaya sobrang proud ako talagang introduce to mga speakers natin for today. So let's welcome our second speaker for today, okay? um, Sir John Marie Malco. He graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Arts in Classical Philosophy from Kasikyao Kasi Ko. 
um, Recoletos Seminary, Baguio City. He finished his graduate studies at La, Con uh, La Consolacion University, Philippines with a degree of Master of Arts in Education. He is currently uh, working as the subject area coordinator of the basic education department of La Consolacion University, Philippines, Malolo City, Bulacan. He teaches social science, philosophy, and theology at the basic education and the undergraduate, graduate levels in the same university. Okay, and so let's welcome to the for uh, our second session for today, uh, Sir John Marie Malco. Yeah. Sir John, okay, uh, hindi ko na shout out kanina, pero shout out to all our teachers from uh, La Consolacion University, Philippines, Malolos, Balacan, as well as, okay, kanina rin, uh, ating um, uh, speaker from um, uh, Professor Ramim. Uh, let's also, um, I'd like to also make a shout out to um, all teachers and faculty from Mindanao State University, Marawi City. Okay, so yan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pakikinig at panonood. Okay? Uh, so Sir John, okay? um, I will not take so much of your time. I'll give the floor to you now. Uh, good luck on your session, teachers. Um, enjoy uh, and uh, let's keep on learning uh, on this session. Okay? Thank you, Sir John. Thank you, Sir Franco, and hello po, teachers. And kanina, nabanggit ni Sir Franco na marami po dito yung taga Malolo. So, shout out po sa inyo. So, I'm Sir Malco. I am working currently in La Consolacion University, Philippines as the subject area coordinator of the basic education department. So, uh, LCUP as a private institution po since we are being affected by of course, this pandemic, and we are in online distance learning. So LCUP is also using our uh, learning management system. We are using, I mean, uh, Google for education. So for the entire school year, uh, we are using Google Classroom and other Google tools sa aming uh, learning management system. So sa part ko po, uh, we, I will be discussing how to navigate Google Stream and ibang mga tools na magagamit natin sa ating uh, online distance learning. So nabanggit po kanina ng ating first speaker na si Sir Hamin how to make a Google Classroom. So he ended on this part kung saan po meron po tayong meron na po tayong Google Classroom and I will first introduce to you uh, your first Google Classroom. So first let us go on this part makikita po natin dito yung class name na ginawa po natin. O yung ginawa po kanina ni Sir Hamin. So, our class name is KTS or Kaagapay Teacher Support Google Class. So, on this part, makikita po natin the easy navigation part. So, makikita po natin dito our classes. One of the questions that mentioned po kanina, teachers, uh, ilan po yung Google Classroom na pwede po natin gawin sa ating um, Google for Education account. So, in my uh, case, for example, since I am a subject area coordinator and one of the administrators of our school, I am always checking uh, what my teacher is doing, posting, and ano po yung nangyayari sa classroom ng mga teachers ko. So, mapapansin po ninyo, here on my... Uh, Account, napakarami pong classroom po dito since I am, uh, under me is philosophy and theology subjects. So lahat po ng mga classrooms ng mga teachers ko ay collaborators po ako. Later po, ituturo ko po sa inyo how to collaborate other teachers into your classroom. So pwede po one or more teachers po sa isang Google Classroom. So here, listed here are all your classes po na ginawa po ninyo in your Google Classroom. Next one po makikita po natin dito is the Google uh, Classroom Calendar. So makikita po natin dito here in the calendar, all your scheduled tasks and classworks automatic po, mapaplat na po sa ating Google Calendar. So mapapansin po ninyo, uh, these are the activities that I made and my teachers made in the Google uh, Classroom po natin. So lahat po na activity for this week ay makikita po natin dito here in Google Calendar. So mapapansin din po natin teachers, if we will open another tab using Google Calendar, lahat po 
makikita po din po natin iyon. But inside the Google Classroom, lahat po ng integrated tools ni Google ay uh, nandito po sa loob ng Google Classroom. And next po, I will be showing to you, teachers, yung things to do, which of course, mga gagawin ng mga estudyante at mga gagawin nyo bilang isang teachers. So, dito walang assigned works here since I'm not a student, but on the part of the student, kung meron pong pinost na activity si teachers, so the things to do ay uh, malalagay po dito. So, for example, I am a student and I enrolled in a certain Google Classroom, so lahat po ng mga activities na pinost po ng aking mga teachers ay lalabas po dito sa to-do section ng ating Google Classroom. Alright, to proceed po, after ng to-do, meron din po tayo dito archive classes po natin. So dito po teachers, in the archive classes, all the classes will appear na na-archive na po natin. For example, these are my classes Uh, last semester. So, tip lang po teachers to avoid clutter po sa ating Google Classroom. Always archive classroom after each school year or each semester para po uh, yung mga classroom na hindi na po natin ginagamit ay uh, hindi na po makikigulo sa current Google Classroom na ginagamit po natin. For example, in this semester. So, if for example, meron po tayong titignan ng mga activities, titignan ng mga uh, materials in our archive classes, pwede din po natin silang balikan by just clicking uh, an archive classroom. Alright? So, next po, teachers, let's proceed po sa setting po ng ating uh, Google Classroom. So on this part, I will be showing to you. All right. On this part, I will be showing to you settings in the Google Classroom notification. So ano po yung classroom setting or classroom notification po natin? So if you are going to set notification here, all the updates you want to receive will be sent to your email. So lahat po na nangyayari sa Google Classroom niyo whenever your students will submit their activity, lahat po ay uh, masisend notification sa inyong Gmail account. So, you can enable it by just clicking here that you want to receive any notification from your Google Classroom. So, lahat po, comments on your post, comments that mention you as a teacher, private comment on your work, all your classes that you are enrolled in, lahat po ng mga post ng mga teachers po ninyo, you will be notified in your Gmail account lahat ng classes na uh, tinuturuan mo as a teacher. So for example, late submission of your student work, you will be notified. Resubmission of your student work, invitation to co-teach classes, and scheduled posts publish or failed. So everything po will be uh, notified to you in your Google Classroom. However, teachers, uh, meron na akong konting tip na, If ever that you are uh, always using Google Classroom, so just um, disable it para at least uh, hindi na kayo manonotify sa Google uh, Gmail account niyo. I mean, sa Gmail niyo para uh, everything is being controlled here in the Google uh, Classroom. On the upper part po, teachers, makikita po natin dito yung profile pictures po natin. So... Take no teachers and tip lang po, always put your picture here. Bakit po? Dahil ito po yung makikita ng ating mga estudyante. So every classroom uh, that uh, students uh, will enroll, makikita po nila yung picture ng kanilang teacher. So always place your picture here. So um, if you have questions po, Uh, regarding the navigation here on on the left side of our Google Classroom. So just comment down your uh, questions and we will answer them later sa forum po natin. So to proceed po, since we are 
uh, talking here, Google Classroom, balik po tayo sa ating ginawang Google Classroom po kanina. So here in the stream, I will be also demonstrating to you, uh, teachers, how to um, change name, add class description, name a section, name a room, and ano po yung subject na tinuturuan po ninyo. So we are still here in the class setting. For example, uh, we want to change the class name. So kanina, uh, ang ginawa po ni Sir Hamin is he just wrote, KTSG class. So, gusto kong full name. Kaagapay Teacher Support Google Class. Gusto ko full name ng KTS group namin. So, you can edit them. So, you can also place here class description. Ano po yung name ng section ninyo? So, for example, uh, if you are handling two or more sections, it is um, required po for your own convenience na lagyan nyo po ng section. Just like for example, you put a number, section 1, or you put a letter, section A, para di kayo malito in choosing what Google Classroom uh, na papasukan po ninyo. And the room number and what is the subject you, you are uh, teaching. So, everything po ay pwede pong uh, ma-edit here in class setting. All right. Next on the lower part po, let's proceed to the general setting po ng ating Google Classroom. So, we how we now have made a Google Classroom. Paano po tayo mag-invite ng mga estudyante po natin? So, I have re uh, read questions po kanina sa ating comment section na paano po tayo mag-invite ng mga estudyante at mag-invite ng co-teacher or co-collaborator sa ating Google Classroom. So here po, in the general setting, the first part that I will be showing to you is how to invite students. Upon making a Google Classroom, automatically po, Google will give you Google Classroom code or Google Classroom link. So this invite link teachers, what you need to do is just to copy the link. Kopyahin lang po yung link and then send nyo po sa mga estudyante po ninyo using Facebook, Messenger, or by using email. And upon clicking that link, automatically enrolled na po si student sa ating classroom. Or you just send to them this Google Classroom code. So for example, in my classroom uh, na ginawa po natin ngayon, my Google Class code is HFULSX4. So, this code, ito lang po yung ibibigay natin sa estudyante. So, kanina, na-demonstrate po ni Sir Hamin na if you are a teacher, so you will create class. And if you are a student, if meron po tayong viewers here na isang estudyante, what you need to do is just click Join Classroom and then type this Google Classroom code. In my case, if you want to enroll in my subject, so just type, HFULSX4. Then automatically, you will be enrolled in my Google Classroom. All right. And meron din po akong tip teachers. If your students are already enrolled inside your Google Classroom, please turn off po yung inyong invite codes. Bakit po? Para po wala pong uninvited guests na pwedeng pumasok po sa ating Google Classroom. So, we have encountered that na mga estudyante po na, na mis-enroll po nila yung uh, classroom po natin. Instead, sa ibang teacher po sila dapat mag-enroll, so maling code po yung kanilang na-encode. So, if you have your class list, so check uh, the names of your students and if kompleto na po yung estudyante po ninyo, just turn off the invite codes at hindi na po pwedeng uh, mag-enroll pa kahit po may code po yung ibang mga estudyante na hindi po kasama sa class list po natin. They will not uh, or they cannot enter anymore our Google Classroom. Alright. Next, on the lower part po, we can see here a stream. So mamaya po, papakita ko po sa inyo how to navigate stream. However, in the stream po, we can also Make a uh, setting here. For example, students can post and comment. So, pwede pong mag-post 
ang estudyante po natin and they can also post a comment sa mga activities po na ginawa po natin. Or we can use student can only comment. So pwede po silang mag-comment pero hindi po sila pwedeng mag-post. Or on the last setting, only teachers can post or comment. And tip lang teachers, para maiwasan po natin yung mga unnecessary posts sa ating Google Stream po or inside our Google Classroom Stream, just click student can only comment. So hindi po sila pwedeng mag-post. So they can comment uh, sa mga ginawa po ninyong activity, sa mga announcement po na pinost po ninyo, but they cannot post anything sa ating stream. Alright? Next po, I will be showing to you how to generate meeting link. So, simple po, sa ating class setting, just click generate meet link. And automatically, Google Classroom will give you a classroom link. Alright, and in this part also, teachers, sa setting po na ating Google Classroom, pwede din po natin gawin na yung Google Meeting link po natin is visible to the students or hindi po nila makikita. In our case po sa school po namin, uh, we have this policy po na after each classes po, we are uh, disabled po yung uh, meeting link para maiwasan po natin na after our classes ay gagamitin po ng ating mga estudyante yung ating Google Meet inside our Google Classroom sa mga um, not um, academic related activities. So kapag po uh, magtuturo po si teachers, pupunta lang po siya sa setting and then just enable the Google Meeting link. And automatically sa stream po makikita na po ng mga estudyante po natin. All right, and on the lower part or the last part po ng ating uh, setting po, makikita po natin how to edit po the grading system sa ating Google Classroom. However, on this part po, teachers, uh, my partner, uh, Miss Jane, will be discussing to you the grading system and grading calculation po sa ating Google Classroom. So, uh, explain po yan mamaya ni Ma'am Jane po after my uh, part here. So if we are done po teachers sa uh, pag-set po ng mga settings po natin uh, by generating Google Meet and disabling Google Meeting link and invite codes po. So just click save and then automatically teachers makikita po natin dito sa ating stream na meron na po tayong meeting link. You no know, teachers makikita po natin dito yung class code Class code ko po ay turned off. Why? It is because tinurned off ko po o I disabled po yung pag-e-enroll ng mga estudyante. So since I don't have students yet, balikan ko lang po and then I will turn this on. Then just click save. Alright. Um... I will just click save. Then, yung ating Google Classroom code ay lalabas na po sa ating Google Stream. Now, um, every time po teachers na magkaklase po kayo, upon entering the Google Classroom, what you need to do is just click the Google Meet link here in our stream. And automatically po teachers, dadalhin na po kayo ni Google sa Google Meet. Alright, so makikita nyo po, nandito po ako sa uh, Google Meet na po and another tab na po ito ni Google Chrome. So I will not, what I need to do is just click join now and just wait for your students to come in inside the Google Meet link. Yeah. So kanina so, teachers po. Yeah. So dyan hindi lang nakita yung isang tab no? Uh, nasa Ay, alright, Google, alright. Sige nasa po Google sir. Classroom pa rin po tayo. Alright, sige. Pakita ko po kung saan po tayo dadalhin ni Google Classroom po. Upon, once again, upon clicking po yung um, meeting link po sa ating Google Classroom, automatically po teachers, dadalhin na po tayo ni Google sa ating meeting link. 
So, upon entering po sa uh, meet link po, automatically, your students po ay papasok na po sa uh, klase nyo po. And since I don't have yet students, so wala pong papasok po ngayon. And meron pong upgrade actually si Google Workspace for Education na for security purposes po. Uh, if you entering a classroom, in a Google Meeting link, hindi po papasok si student once si teacher ay hindi po papasok sa Google uh, Meet. And that will be discussed in our next April series po sa Google Meet. So, Sir Franco, end ko na po yung uh, Google Meet. And everything po will be discussed by our next set of speakers po sa next April series ko na. Yes, okay. Opo. Uh, um, yes. Sige po, Sir Franco, balik po tayo sa ating Google Classroom. Go ahead, go ahead po, Sir. Alright, so nandito pa rin po tayo sa stream po natin. And I will teach to you teachers. Tina, um, tapos na po tayo sa uh, necessary things na dapat po natin gawin, na-generate na po natin ng Google Classroom code, and na-generate na rin po tayo ng Google Meeting link. Now, here in the Google Stream Teachers, you can post anything here. Announcement and activities. So, sa stream po natin, you can announce here. For example, meron po tayong announcement, important announcement sa klase po natin bukas. So, just write. Hey, can you want to uh, say to your students, hello students? And just click post if you want this announcement to be posted immediately. Meron din po tayong scheduled post teachers. So you can post immediately, you can save it as a draft, or you can schedule a post. Just like for example, I want to uh, give announcement to my students tomorrow that we will be having a formative activity. So meron po kaming gagawing activity tomorrow. So I wrote here in the announcement that students will be having an activity tomorrow. So please review your notes. So I want that announcement to be posted tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. So just set the date here, teachers. Just set the date. Tomorrow will be April 9. And what time you want that announcement to be posted? So you can edit it and then click the scheduled and immediately Google will be uh, automatically posti posting that announcement tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. So yun po. And later, uh, my partner, Mom Jane, will also teach you teachers how to post or schedule post an activity. Just like, for example, uh, tomorrow you want your students to have an activity, pero busy ka, may conflict na schedule ka, may meeting kayo together with your principal. Pero you want that activity to be posted para meron po kayong asynchronous activity together with your students. So, pwede din po tayong mag-schedule post sa ating mga activity if, if that will be a synchronous activity. Right? And that will be discussed by... Uh, Miss Jane later po. So, next po, teachers, if we want also to post something, um, for example po, materials from our Google Drive, so pwede din po tayong mag-post. Just click Google Drive and click po ano po yung material na gusto nyo pong i-post from your Google Drive. If you want to post an article or a website from the internet, to your Google class, Classroom, just click this link and paste here kung anong link po yung gusto nyo pong i-share sa inyong mga estudyante. And you can also post here, actually, teacher's file from your device, from your laptop, kung ano po yung gusto nyo pong um, materials from your laptop na i-share sa inyong mga estudyante in the Google Classroom stream. So you can upload files uh, using your Google Drive or from your devices. And lastly, if you want to post videos from YouTube, you can um, automatically search here uh, sa ating uh, announcement. So, sa YouTube, I will search here, for example, Kaagapay, Teacher, Support. 
Right, so hahanapin natin sa YouTube. So, lahat po ng mga videos po ni Kaagapay Teacher Support na nasa YouTube ay pwede po nating i-post. Just like, for example, yung uh, yung content po ni Sir Franco last March 6. March 6. So, i-post po natin sa ating Google uh, Stream. So, what we need to do is to search or just click the link and then click Add. And then makikita na po natin, attach file na po yung videos sa ating uh, stream. Then, I want something to say to my students. Hello, class. Please watch this video. Alright. So, again, I can post this immediately or I want to schedule this post that my students will see this post tomorrow. Uh, in any time that we want. So for me, uh, I will immediately post kasi gusto ko makita agad ng mga estudyante ko. So here it is, teachers. Yung posted ko po na announcement to my students together with my attached link from YouTube is automatically posted po sa ating stream. Alright. So if you have questions po, teachers, regarding the stream, uh, just comment down po sa... Uh, comment section natin and later pag-uusapan po natin sa forum po natin. And to the last part of my presentation, uh, Sir Franco and teachers, so sa stream po natin, makikita po natin dito meron pong classwork, meron people, and meron grade. So classwork and grades will be discussed later by Ma'am Jane. And I want to share to you teachers how to invite collaborators or co-teachers po and how to invite students. So earlier, I demonstrated to you how to share or how to invite students using Google Meet uh, link, uh, Google Classroom link or Google Classroom code. However, we can also automatic, automatically invite students by just typing their email address here. So if you are using personal account, so pwede po natin for security purposes, i-enroll po dito yung mga estudyante po natin by using their particular email. But uh, since we are using Google Workspace for Education, so much secured po tayo. So we can send, again, we can send to them the invite link to make them enroll sa ating Google Classroom or just type their email. Alright? So next po, is how to invite teachers na maging collaborator po sa ating Google Classroom. So, what I would, uh, what we need to do, teachers, is just click this and then type the email address of your teacher na gusto niyo pong i-invite na maging collaborator po sa ating Google Classroom. So, sa classwork, Grades will be discussed to us by Ma'am Jane. And if you have questions po, teachers, regarding the Google Classroom, Google Stream, and how to uh, further invite students and collaborators po, just click comment po, and we will address them later after the uh, part po ni Miss Jane. Thank you so much, Sir Franco. And Welcome po sa mga bagong uh, viewers po natin ngayong hapon. Yes, thank you. Maraming salamat, Sir John. No? Uh, I think you're, you're very comprehensive yung coverage ni Sir John. Uh, teachers, no, uh, obvious no, kapag talagang ginagamit ng isang teacher yung Google Classroom kasi kahit saan siya pumunta, uh, very smooth yung transition. No? Hindi siya nalilito. No? So, uh, thank you, Sir John, no, for, for sharing your experiences. Uh, and again, ang maganda kay Sir John is that... Um, he has both the perspective of a teacher and an administrator. Okay, paano ginagamit ng isang administrator si Google Classroom no, to monitor um, online classes, asynchronous stats, etc. Okay? Pero Sir John, before siguro kata uh, pakawalan no? at uh, mag-transition tayo kay, uh, sa ating last speaker for today, okay? uh, we'd like to inv invite our teachers, if you have uh, like uh, one or two questions maybe for Sir John okay? um, to, uh, to answer no, before we move on. Okay? And I'd like to add, Sir Jan, no, I'd like to agree on yung shiner mo kanina about the um, ways of sharing your classes, okay? So teachers, yung sharing of classes, uh, it will actually depend on your Google account, okay? 
yun nga, sinabi ni Sir John kanina, no, if you're using a personal Google account, okay, uh, I don't recommend using the uh, the invite code. Okay, so I always uh, recommend no using the direct invite via email. Okay, kasi uh, by using the direct invite via email, walang choice si student, no, at saka walang makaka-join sa classes nyo except those that were invited. But of course, you'll have to turn off your invite code okay, to do that, okay? And, uh, but for those who are using Google Workspace for Education, okay, uh, there's no problem naman uh, using your invite code kasi kahit makuha yung code na yan ng kahit sino, but if they don't belong to your domain, for example, if they don't, they're not using uh, the same email as you, okay, uh, with the same extension, okay, they will not be able to join your classes. Okay, siguro lang, magiging ano lang sir dyan, no? ang magiging complication lang, yung mga taga-ibang section or taga-ibang grade level, pwedeng sumali sa class mo. Uh, pero hindi naman sa, like example, outside, total outsiders. No? Yun yung sinasabi kanina ni Professor Hamim, that if we're using Google Workspace for Education, okay, we have an added security. Okay, so hindi tayo basta-basta makakaano. Okay, and tama ka sir dyan kanina, no? Um, si Google Meet, meron na siyang security feature na um, host must enter first. Okay? Kaya actually, dun sa Google Meet nyo, sir, no, hindi na kailangan i-turn off, turn on. Kasi kahit uh, naka-turn on yun, hindi makakapasok yung mga students nyo unless pumasok si teacher. Okay? At uh, i-preempt na natin, sir, dyan. Okay? Um, kasi um, magkakaroon pa ng further integration si Google Classroom at si Google Meet. Okay? Um, Pag nag-add ka ng teacher, no, tinuro ni Sir John kanina, no, paano mag-add ng teacher sa Google Classroom, lahat ng added teachers mo, Sir John, will automatically become a co-host in your Google Meeting. So, for example, pwede na kayo pumasok. So, for example, lalo ka na Sir John, no, isa kang um, uh, administrator. So, kapag collaborator ka dun sa class, pwede ka nang pumasok sa Google Meeting nila, co-host ka kagad um, ng Google Meet pag nag-o-observe ka ng online classes ng mga teachers mo. Okay? So, yan. Okay? So, mamaya, no? Mention pa natin yung mga integration na yan na mangyayari mamaya. Okay? I think we have one question, no? From Miss Rose. Okay. Ito. Sir John? Um... Frank, Sir John, no? okay. nagbabago po ba ang class code kada turn off and on sa Google Classroom? Yes po, actually. So kanina, napansin po ninyo, teacher, nung unang mention ko po ng Google Classroom code before I turned it off, uh, iba po yung class code. When I turn it on, magbabago po yung uh, class code po niya. But take note, teacher, once po na nabago po yung Google Classroom code, hindi po maka-unenroll lahat ng estudyante po natin na currently enrolled po sa ating Google Classroom. So, advice lang po uh, sa mga teachers po natin using that are using Google a workspace for education po. Uh, if our students are already enrolled, it turned off po natin as what I mentioned earlier para maiwasan po natin yung mga estudyante na maligaw and if in that case po na meron po mga unwanted visitor po sa ating Google Classroom, pwede din po natin silang i-kick or uh, remove po from our Google Classroom. But only the teacher or the co-collaborators can remove students. Hindi po pwedeng uh, mga estudyante po na i-remove po nila yung mga classmates po nila. So only the teachers have the uh, tool to remove the students. So, magbabago po yung ating Google Classroom code if we turn it on and off po. Yeah, thank you. Maraming salamat, no? Um, one more question, no? Uh, tama si Sir John, no? Uh, security feature din ni Google yan, okay? One last question before we move on to our last speaker for today, okay? This is from Miss Lani uh, Amata from uh, PUP, right? Uh, so, Miss Lani, uh, sir, question po, is there a way na pwede po i-search ang name ng student po sa people in Google Classroom? Okay? Um, teacher Lani, I we believe no na hindi siya pwede. Wala pang search button okay? um, kay Google Classroom. Although, uh, naka-arrange naman alphabetically ang inyong uh, students. No? At it, it doesn't take, uh, it, take uh, it takes into account the surname. Okay? So, naka-arrange sila by surname. No? So, madali silang mahanap. And again, yes, for a po. class of, ano, for a class of, um, like, 40, 60, uh, siguro hindi naman ganun kahirap i-locate yung students natin, okay? So, madali lang yung teach na hindi siya ganun kasi naka-arrange siya. Or, you can also change the arrangement to a descending order, okay, from the last name first, uh, for the last letter, okay, the, dun sa papuntang ano, from letter Z to A, parang ganun, okay? 
So teachers will answer more uh, at your other questions. No, uh, we'll park uh, and we'll uh, we'll proceed first with our last speaker for today. Okay, uh, to explore further the other areas of Google Classroom. Okay, maraming maraming salamat, Sir John, and uh, we'll Thank be you, uh, seeing you. Uh, we'll see you back later uh, for our panel discussion. Okay. Okay, so teachers, um, let us let me now welcome our last speaker for today. Okay. Uh, who will be uh, exploring further okay, our um, our uh, Google Classroom no, uh, in building your uh, virtual classes. Okay? So Ms. Jane uh, Rizuelio Santos, a woman who finds her, her focus on the lens of her camera, hails from, the, from Pangasinan and has lived in Malolos City, Bulacan since the 1990s. She has been a teacher at St. Mary's College and Notre Dame of Greater Manila. Currently, she's still uh, in the academy handling science and computer subjects of, uh, at the Holy Spirit Academy of Malolos. Shedding light to students who are thirsty of knowledge, her passion in photography coupled with technological literacy has led her to tap students in conquering the world of computers. Okay. Trying to outshine her capabilities, she took and passed the Google Certified Educator Level 1 this January 2021. She has a lot more to offer and uh, such milestones to conquer. Uh, she's, not, she's not only atten uh, attended webinars, but also generously shared the learning she acquired for the continuous improvement of HSAM's uh, institutional practices and soon of the world, okay, as, uh, as she said, no, a, a, a dream that she's um, trying to pursue. Let us welcome uh, to our stream for today, uh, Ms. Jane R. Santos. Hello, Miss Jean. Good afternoon, for Miss Jean. Uh, you're um, you're muted. Good afternoon. Yeah. Good afternoon, Miss Jean. Okay. Um, and welcome to uh, to Kaagapay Teacher Support. Although you're not new to Kaagapay Teacher Support, but I think this is the first time you'll be speaking, no, to uh, with, no, um, uh, to our community as a speaker. Okay. So, uh, Miss Jean, I will no longer take much of your time. Okay. So I'll be um, giving you the floor now. Okay. So you could um, address no the top your topic and address our community. Okay. So uh, teachers uh, enjoy for the last uh, part of our session. After this, we will have a panel discussion for all of your questions about Google Classroom. Okay, again, good afternoon, mga kapatid sa profesyon. Ayan. So today. I'm going to show you some of the grading and classroom features of Google Classroom. So let us learn, navigate, and explore the wonderful tool and how to use it. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, so let us start. like what my other colleagues have uh, discussed they have discussed Hi. how to yes miss jane for a while po miss jane i think you're sharing the um, uh, stream because you might be sharing the the wrong screen please do check thank you now, teachers, now please park your questions first. No, we will have our panel discussion later. Bakala po mawala sa stream natin, hindi namin makita later. Uh, but um, while Miss Jane is uh, doing her sharing, I'll be answering some of your questions in the um, in the stream. Okay, uh, Miss Jane, I could still see the ano. Um, I can't see the Google Classroom. It's the stream that's being shared. Let's just wait, teachers. No. Okay, uh, let's answer some of the questions while Miss Jane is uh, setting up her presentation. Sir, if you can request kay Google that they can create a format that name of the student will be arranged in alphabetical order. Um, pwede naman yun, Miss, no? Pero pwede yung, uh, actually, pwede yun sa pag-create ng account, lalo na pag sa mga Google Workspace for Education. Okay, yan, ready na ang presentation ni Miss Jane. Miss Jane, uh, good luck and uh, enjoy our session. Teacher Jane, nakamute po kayo. Okay, so okay na po. Okay. 
So as I've mentioned a while ago, we're going to play, uh, we're going to discuss classwork and grades. So I have clicked grades here. Okay. And since this classroom is empty, so there are no grades, but then here is the gear icon, okay, or the settings. So let us go down. So the upper part was discussed by Sir John. This time I'll be discussing grading. So let us start with grading calculation. Okay. So here in grading calculation, we have here overall, overall grade calculation. Okay. So at present, there is no overall grade calculation. So let us put here, for example, we want the total points. We want the weighted by categories. We can do we can do that. Okay. So for example, let us have the total points. And then show overall grade to students. For now, it is off. So we can turn it on. And, and lastly, we can have the grade categories. Okay. So for grade categories, we all know that usually... Yung ano natin, we use assignments. For example, let us allot 50%. That will be our default um, value for our assignment. And then add another grade category. For example, let us have quizzes. Okay, another, for example, 60 or 50 na rin para hindi tayo mahirapan. Okay, gawin na lang natin para pareho. And lastly, the projects or... Mas kilala natin ngayon as OPETA. So, sige, 50%. So, that is on how to um, have our grade categories. And it's up to you teachers if you want to add some more. So, as for now, let us have assignments, quizzes, and PETA. And then after that, let us click save. And then after that, Another feature of Google Classroom is Classwork. Okay. So here in Classwork, you can create all the activities that you need to do. We need to, to we need our student to do. Okay. So we have the create button. And then first, as what mentioned in other webinars, let us start with topic. Because topic is basically our heading, okay? So heading natin yan. So for me, I usually in my class, uh, in my in my class, I usually use first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. Para nakikita ko ano yung mga activities ko for first quarter, second quarter, or third quarter. Okay. So but this time, again, for example, let us have chapter four. Okay. Let us have for example our science class. So chapter four or the four, uh, unit four in usually in science is the earth and space, isn't it? Since mga nagtuturo ng science, they all know that fourth quarter uh, um, deals with earth and space. And then let us add. So after adding, and for example, we all we now have topic. Okay. So pwede tayong gumawa ng topic na marami. Okay. So, for example, nagkamali ako, sige, baguhin natin. We can rename it. Just click the three ellipses. Okay, for example, I want it moon. So, moon na lang muna. Okay, and then rename. Okay, so nagbago na, isn't it? We can create another one. For example, the next, um, my next topic after moon will be stars. Sabi natin stars. Okay, and then we can add. Ayan. So now, teachers, we have two topics. Okay. After that, after setting the topics, we can now create our materials or the things that the students can do. So let us have the first one. Okay. So let us have material. So for materials, teachers, and we can have the title, the description, and at the same time, we can add or create. Okay, so for example, for material, let us create, let us, uh, let us make it as the faces of the moon, for example. Okay, so 
we can have uh, we can place there a description for example we're going to add let us start with um, sabi natin with the link okay so link muna tayo di ba okay we can add a link here where can we get usually ako i can i, uh, I usually use the link of youtube's or the, the materials that I have done or prepared ahead of time. For example, I have my links in my Google Drive. I usually get them. So I go out. I usually go out there or um, and copy the link. Okay. So for example, I have here my drive. Okay, so for example lang ha, for example, um, I don't have, ano, for example, this one lang. Okay, um, lesson materials, for example, okay, um, so yeah, a PowerPoint, you can, you can give a link, usually gan kahit ganito lang, you can copy it and then go back. Okay. Add. You can add a link. Okay. And so, ang haba ng link ko, no? So, I have here Moon Formation Processes PowerPoint. So, that is, I'm giving the link. So, for example, lagay natin dito, um, please view this PowerPoint presentation, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Okay. And then, aside from links, we can also have YouTube, okay? Pero sabi nga nila for a while. Okay, so let us have first the submission, I, the, the posting. So first, I have here, for example, I have my KTS uh, Google class, and I have my students, and then I don't have a topic. Please remember, teachers, when you give um, faces of the uh, um, material, it is not intended for 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 grading. Usually, we can give this as a supplement, as an enrichment, or as an advanced uh, study for our students. So, wala siyang lalabas na grading muna. But then, ayan, so we can have the topic. We can create. You can choose the topic. If you haven't uh, created yet a topic, so you can click create. So, pag halimbawa, nakalimutan mo pa. Or, since I have already created a topic, then I can choose the topic. For example, the topic belongs to Moon. Okay? So, ayan na yun. And then, I can share it now. Now, for example, this one will be used for tomorrow. Then, we can schedule our post. Okay? So, for example, schedule. Okay? So... I want my students to open it at 8 o'clock, to see it, to view it at 8 o'clock tomorrow. So, pwede natin schedule yan. Or, if you don't want, you want it, you want your students to, to know it right, to view it right away, then you can just click pause. Okay? Okay. So, schedule muna natin so that we can take a look later what is the difference between, between scheduling and posting. So, for example, that will be April 9, holiday to tomorrow. Okay, kunwari lang po. Okay. Ayan. So, here, on my classwork, we can now here see faces of the moon. So, let us have another one. Okay, another, um, the next one is, for material, by the way, you can, you can add any type. Okay, you can have you can have um, all the things that are here. For example, you can have a Google Drive. You can get it from your Google Drive. You can have a link. You can have a file. You can have a YouTube. Or you can create. So in all the, the different um, classworks, actually, we can use all of this. Pwede mag-add, pwede pong mag-create. Okay. So, sige, mag, mag ano pa tayo? After the link, I want a file. Okay, for example, I want a file. Now, when you click file, usually these are the files in your drive or in, or in your computer. 
So if, it, if the file is in your computer, then choose upload and then browse. Okay. Layata akong po ayun. So I have here formation processes. Sige. Uh, kunin natin uli ito. Okay. So it is it is a video. Okay. So I have now here a video from a PowerPoint presentation. Sorry. A PowerPoint PowerPoint presentation for my students. So again, pwede natin ilagay dyan. Okay, what will be our title? So, pwede namang ganun, formation, uh, moon formation processes. Okay, after that, we can again uh, place or write our description. So, for example, this is for advanced study or for enrichment. Okay, so lag pwede na tayo maglagay ng description. Anything na gusto natin ilagay okay, for the instruction. And then again, pwede po uli yung ginawa natin kanina. So, let us assign this. Let us have a topic. Okay, under the under moon. And then, I want this to be posted now. So, pwede na po iyan. Okay. So, real time, your students can view the material. Okay. So we have now different materials, a video and a PowerPoint presentation. So hindi ko na pagkikita po yung iba. Now let us have um, question. Okay. So what? when do we use our question? When do we use this, this feature of Google Classroom? Usually we use this um, if we want to engage our students, if we want them to participate in our discussion na hindi na, na na hindi online okay so parang parang asynchronously or right there kahit nakaharap ka diyan they can interact it's just like a forum okay so usually i do this when i do my journal journal writing i usually have my journal writing every topic since i am i am handling science i usually after my topic after after the after some summative test or I, I know I use this for my journal writing or for reflection so as of as, as an example let us have the question why do we see different shapes of the moon Throughout, oops, wait, throughout the month. Okay. So here, throughout the month. So here, in this type of question, we are we are developing the critical thinking of our students. They will reason out. Sasabi nila ano yung nararamdam niya, ano yung sa talagay nila, anong nangyay, bakit meron. So here, pwede natin tayo maglagay ng instruction, explain or um, explain briefly in two to three sentences. So for example, yun, explain your answer in two, um, in three to five sentences. Kunwari lang. Okay. So that is our instruction. So here, it is a short answer. And since it asks for an answer, magkakaroon na po, dyan napapasok yung ating grade category. By the way, kunwari, nakalimutan ko, siguro naglagay, dapat ako kanina ng grade category na recitation. Okay? So, pwede kong ilagay doon, recitation, and then sabi natin, ligyan ko siya ng 10 points. So, for now, sige, ilagay ko na lang siyang quiz. For example, it is a quiz, gawin natin 10 points. Okay? So, since it is a quiz, Mm, and usually in our in our and now in our school we conduct our class synchronously so kahit naka google classroom po kami i um they usually answer it um during their time so for example i have my eight to nine class so usually minsan pag ganito um, i ask them to answer it for example in five to ten minutes 
So, nagbibigay ako ng due date within the, the class R. But then, if we're going to use this asynchronously, then we can decide on um, our, we can decide the scheduled submission. Okay, so for example, tomorrow then. Yeah. And then, for the time, sige, sabi natin 5 o'clock. Sabi nga ni Sir Franco noon sa discussion niya, for mental health, huwag na tayong mag, ano, mag, mag schedule ng beyond, beyond, kubang sa ano, pag tayo office hours, di ba? So, sa bata, let us respect also their privacy and their, their health, especially their mental health, para, para hindi na masyadong mag-indulge sa kakanood ng, ay, sa screen time, okay? And then, ayan na. So here, there is a setting here. Students can reply to each other if you are having discussion. Okay lang yan. Okay. Students can edit answer. I usually don't, don't, um, post a, uh, I don't give this a check mark. Okay. But then there is another feature here wherein students cannot see the answers of their classmates unless they have already submitted their work. Okay. So, ayan. So, pwede tayong mag-ask. Pero features here, aside from short answer, we can also have multiple choice. So, for example, ang tanong lang natin if, uh, can be, is answerable by yes or no. Di ba? So, pwede tayong mag, uh, pwede natin piliin yes, multiple choice. Okay. So, ito, I can now um, ask them. Okay, so for example, ako, real time. Real time akong nag, nag -class, nag, nagtatanong. So, I usually ask it at once. There you are. Okay. And so, where is it? I, I was not able to put the topic. So, if ever you have encountered this kind of um this kind of problem or or um nakalimutan natin then it's very easy we can just click it and drag it down Ayan. so pasok na po siya ganun lang kadali po okay so next after after the question then let us have assignment okay Ayan. So, assignments literally, minsan sabi, akala nyo kan, assignment, homework. No, usually, kahit lahat ng uh, categorize as assignment. So, again, for example, it's just a phase. Okay, for example, uh, activity paper. Okay? So, active, uh, no, 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 activity report. I usually give my activity report to my students here as an assignment. So, for example, um, it's just a phase. Okay. So, this is, in our school, this is uh, no, an experiment. Diba? In science class, we conduct experiments. So, hindi pa rin kami photo needle ng pagbibigay ng experiments or activities even if we are on our ODL. Pero we design our activities in such a way na andun yung mga materials in their houses or in their homes. Kasi mahirap naman magbigay ka ng mga, mga chemicals, wala naman, wala naman sila noon. Magagalit po sa atin ang ating mga parents, di po ba? So kailangan i-consider din po natin yon. So for example, ayan na, I have my, um, my experiment which is, it's just a phase. Now, Usually, pag ganyan, mm, meron na po akong pin-create. Recreated na. So, I usually, okay, for example, let us have Google Drive. Hindi ko alam kung meron dito. Ayan, for example. It's just a face. Okay. So, just insert it. And there you are. So it is now here, it's just a face, and it is Google Docs. Now, how will my students or pupils answer this? 
Okay, so dito po natin makikita ngayon, students can view the file. So pag, if you're going to choose this, what will happen? Can the students answer it? Can the students edit it? No, definitely no. So walang sagot na mangyayari. So what will be what will be the 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 fallback of this? So gagawa pa ng another file ang bata. So here we have three options. Students can edit file, make a copy for its student. Now, if we choose students can edit file, mahirap naman po ito kasi you are sending one file tapos lahat sila mag-edit, mag-edit po ng isang file lang. So mangyayari inedit ng isang bata i-edit din ng isa, rumble po, nagkagulo, isn't it? So the, first, the, the best thing here is make a copy for each student. Okay? So when we click this, ayan, makikita natin that all our students will receive an individual copy together with their name. Okay? So, for example, I'll just go to my other classroom and show you how it works. Okay, for example, let us have this grade five was done. And so let us have a class work. Okay. So assignment, uulit ako, inulit ko yung gagawin ko. So for example, activity report. And then it's just a face. Okay. And then I'm going to add from Google Drive, from link, pwede po yun, you can create. Okay. So, ito na po siya. Kasi kagagamit ko lang, kaya nandiyan na. So, for example, ayan, make a copy for each student. Okay. Now, Let us have the category. So usually, it is a project. Sige, lagay natin PETA. And then, sabi natin, this is 20 points. I usually give 20 points for this. Okay. And then, due date. So sabi natin, sa Monday. Kasi gagawin nila ng, ano, or one week. Kasi, kasi it's a phase, phases of the moon. Siguro pwede na yung one week. Pero usually, one month ang phases of the moon, isn't it? Okay, for example, let me schedule it on the 16th of, of April, okay, at 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, that's it. And then for the topic, I have here, mm -hmm. so since, since this is my real classroom, so I don't have my topic here. So, susundan ko na lang to. Ano, hindi po kayo nalilito sa ginawa ko kasi kanina ginawa ko the topics. But since I am on my real classroom, so I have first quarter, second quarter, and the third quarter. So, this time, I'm going to show you how to create. So, parang sinabi ko kanina. Kanina, nauna tayong pag-create ng topic. This time, hindi pa po pala ako nakakreate. So, we can have create topic. So, sige, susundan ko po itong flow ng, ng, uh, ng classroom ko so I can have my fourth quarter. Okay. And then, ayan na po. Mm -hmm. This time, you can see here another feature of Google Classroom which is the rubric. Okay. Okay. So, we can click rubric here and then create rubric, you reuse rubric, or import from sheets. Okay. So, for now, okay, um, yeah, let us create a rubric. Usually, ginagawa ko dyan is, if it is, if it is an activity report, dalawa, ang, dalawa lang po ang aking rubric. Dalawang, dalawa lang po. It's content and the process. I usually do that. But then for the sake of demonstration, for example, uh, sabi natin, ang peta natin is an infographic. Napagawa tayo ng infographic, which is my real 
may real peta dun sa isa pa pong classroom ko. Later, I'm going to discuss with you bakit meron pa akong ibang classroom. Okay. So, for example, let us have content. Okay. Let us have the criterion title. So, we have here use scoring. Okay. So, meron tayong descending. Gusto ko siguro ascending. O, hindi sige. Descending na lang tayo. Okay, so for the criterion title, we can have content, isn't it? Okay, so ano yung mga inalagay natin sa content? Ano sa palagay natin? Okay, for the content, ayan, so lagay tayo ng, for example, again, sabi ko, this is an infographic, kunwari, kunwari lang, aha. Uh -huh. The infographic, The infographic, the infographic contains accurate facts. Accurate facts and concepts. For example, okay, so that is my criterion. So I have here, sabi ko descending. So I have, for example, I'll assign here five. And then, what level is a five? Usually, teachers, ano ginagamit natin dito? Excellent or anything na yung ginagamit natin. For me, I usually use advanced. Okay. So, advanced level. Kaya five ang kanyang points. For the description, okay. So, pwede natin sabihin at least four accurate facts. Or concepts. We mean to say the student had given at least four accurate facts and concepts about the about the infographic na pinagawa natin. Okay. Concepts are displayed. In the infographic. Next, we can have the next one, which is four. Okay, lagay natin ulit ng points of four. This time, pwede natin gawing proficient. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, copy-paste na lang po natin to para hindi tumagal. Sabi natin yung three accurate. Facts and concepts are displayed in the infographic. Okay. Next three. Pwede natin sabihin this is progressing, isn't it? Okay. So copy paste din po natin ulit. Mm, sabi natin two. Okay, and lastly, two, mm, sabihin natin, this is basic. Pwede tayo maglagi dyan, excellent, very good, good, fair, and poor, isn't it? Okay, last, control V, sabihin natin, fewer than two. Two accurate facts are displayed. Okay. And so after that, okay, we can have another another criterion. For example, graphics. Okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, so ano pa yung magusto natin ilagay? And graphics. For example, relevance of the of the graphics to the infographics. So, ayun po is uh, teacher, you know. So, hindi ko na po tatapusin. I have just um, shown you how to create a rubric. And then after that, let us save. There are errors. Please fix and try again. Okay, ano yun? Kasi ito nilagyan ko. Okay. Ito po ba yun? Okay, listen to me. Ayaw niya. So, sige, balik natin. So, kunwari, lagyan ko siya 5. Uh, ang ginawa ko kanina, 4, 3, and then 2. Okay. 
Ayan. So, ayaw, ayaw lang niya kanina kasi nag-click ko na. Isn't it? Ayan. So, this time, we have, we have now, we have now the the contents or the the whereabouts at mga kung ano-ano mga kailangan ng ating, ang ating project or ng ating assignment. So, teachers, wag malilito ha. Nung pisang ko activity report, but for the rubrics, ang pinigay ko is infographics. Okay. So, here, Gag um, I'm going to consolidate everything kaysa sa anuhin ko ng paisa-isa. Now, we can assign this, okay, to one section or to all our sections. So, for example, we can click this. Now, you can see all your classes, okay? So, for example, I have my grade 5 was done and I want to... to to assign it to all the sections that I am handling all at the same time. So, pwede po iyon. Okay? Or pwede rin natin schedule. Okay. So, for example, ayan. Uh, click natin. Five understanding. Five counsel. So, I have now here three classes. Okay. So, I have here all students. All students enrolled in my three classes. But... Teachers, please take note that when you have selected multiple multiple sections, hindi po natin pwedeng schedule. Okay? So, ganun po yun. We can only schedule kapag isang class lang po. But then, again, just like what I've mentioned a while ago, if we have chosen multiple uh, multiple classes, then we cannot schedule, you cannot schedule it. So, click na natin. Or, gusto niyo ba, i, ano natin, i, schedule pa ulit. Okay. Sige. Ayan na lang po. So, let us assign. Okay. So, let us take a look now. What happened? So, I have here 5 was done. So, let me go to my classes. Diba? For example, I have here, I have uh, posted it to grade 5, uh, grade 5 was done. Grade 5 understanding, let us check classwork. So, ayun po siya, activity report, it's just a phase. How about in grade 5 council? Okay. So, classwork. Ayun po siya din. Meron din po siya, isn't it? Okay. So, that is how to create an assignment na pwede nating isend ng sabay-sabay. How about, okay, balik tayo kay, um, kay Wisdom. Let us go back to section Wisdom. How about I wanted to repost the assignment? Okay. So, meron pa ako dito, di ba? Uh, we have discussed material, question, and then assignment. How about I, uh, I was not able to send it to my other class, uh, to my other classes? Okay, usually I do this kapag activity. Since I am handling a lot of sections, ginagawa ko, I, I schedule the activity um, kung kailan lang yung oras ng klase nila. But then, minsan, I usually, I do, when I am with them, and then before class, I reuse some posts. So, for example, let us have this one, reuse. Okay. So, hindi na tayo uulit. We're going to reuse it. Ayan. So, here, we are in wisdom. I want to post something about brackish water. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I can click brackish water, for example, nang galing na sa, oh, wait lang. So, for example, I have, I will get an activity in council. Ayan. So, sa council ko kasi nagawa, I was not able to do it in wisdom. So, I can, I can click Council and then, for example, yung Brockish Water nga, I'll get the, the activity Brockish Water. So, just click it. Okay. And, teachers, can you see the word Reuse here? We can click Reuse. Ayan. And, 
we are now uploading another activity in section wisdom. So, here, all the settings na meron po dun sa, sa pinanggalingan niyang classroom, okay, nandito din. So, walang category. So, let us have PETA, 20, no due date. So, lalagyan po natin ng due date again. For example, sa 16 then, okay, 5 o'clock, 5 o'clock p.m. Okay, and then, sa third quarter po pala tong topic na to. So, for example, I want it in the fourth quarter. And then, ayan na yung rubric niya. Okay, 20 points. And I have two criteria. criteria. And then, assign. Ayan, teachers. So, ay, sorry. Ayan, meron na naman akong nagawa. Bakit ayaw mag-assign? Okay, bakit? Anong nangyari? Okay. So, it is now here. Okay, I can edit this. Kasi hindi ko nalagyan pala ng, nalagyan ng, ng instruction. So for example, ayan, ganyan ang nangyari. Nakalimutan ni teacher. So you can go back. You can always go back and edit. Sabi nga po, laging meron tayong pagkakataon para ating ituwid ang ating mga pagkakamali. Aba, humuhugot po ako. Ayan. So for example, let us have the instruction here. Okay, so kunwari perform the activity. Mm -hmm. Perform the following activity. So ganun na lang, napakasimple. Following activity. Okay. And, and then, if you are satisfied with all your settings, then pwede na tayong mag-save ulit. Okay, that's it. This time, let us create the last one, which is the quiz assignment. Okay. So, what is quiz assignment? Ayan. So, automatically, naglagay na siya ng blank quiz or ng form. Okay. Kasi since, since it is an assignment, so for, uh, it is for a quiz, question assignment. So, so kunwari, let us have this as quiz one. Ayan. So, give the instruction again, and then, again, we can add, if we had our, our file na nagawa na natin dati, pwede dito sa file, we can create, okay, if it is a docs, slides, sheets, or draw, um, alam, di ba tayo magpapakos ng drawings, ano, or forms. So, for forms, this will be discussed, um, on our April series, so siguro bubuksan ko lang para makita natin. Okay, so for example, quiz 1. Okay, quiz number 1. Okay. And then, yes, quiz number 1 natin. Okay, tapos, lagay na po tayo ng mga questions. Okay. So I'm not going to do this since this will be discussed um, sa ating mga susunod na, na series. Okay, so for example, ayan na. Oh, walang recipient daw. O sige, lagyan natin. For example, si Jane. Okay, okay. Na-click ko pala kasi ang send. Okay, so after that, wag po natin i-click yung send ha. Nag Naglabo lang po yung mata ko. Akala ko save. Okay. Malabo na po ang mata. Okay, so let us go back. Pinag-send po siya. Akala ko po talaga save kanina yon. Malabo yung mata ko. So here, we already have our quiz here. Okay? So ayun na po. Ayan, quiz. Tingnan niyo oh. Malabo po talaga mata ni teacher. So quiz number exclamation point. Okay. Ayan. So assign po natin. For example, again, Category, quizzes. Okay, for example, this is only 10 points. Ayan. So, due date. Lalagay ba tayo ulit ng due date? Tomorrow. Okay. Ayan. So, 5 o'clock. For our topic. Okay, for example, ito yung fourth quarter natin. So, assign again. Okay. 
Assign na natin. Huwag na natin schedule. Let us assign. Oops. Hindi na naman nalagyan ng title. Ayun na. So, quiz. So, we have now different activities. So, we have here an activity report, activity number three, and quiz. So, we have discussed how to add materials, how to add assignments, how to add quest, quiz assignments, and how to add questions. Okay. So, balik po ako kay KTS class ko. Okay. So, hindi ko po, ginawa ko po sa ibang class. So, hindi na po natin makikita dito yung iba na yun. But then, I have here the different materials. Okay. I have uploaded uh, or have here different materials for the topic moon. Okay. So, eto, nag, ano po yung, nag, nag iba, iba po kasi ako ng classroom. So, hindi natin makikita. Next, how about in grading? How are we going to do it? Okay, so for example, ito na yun, si grade 5 was dumb. So let us go back now in grades. So tapos na tayo sa classwork, isn't it? We have our materials again, okay? We have our, our quiz. So let us now go to grades. So let us click this one. So bumalik po ako kay wisdom kasi doon po mayroong mga estudyante. Do sa KTS po kasi, walang estudyante. So here, eto na yung mga ginawa ko kanina, isn't it? I have my quiz number one, activity three, and activity report. Okay. So, here are my previous activities. So, nakalagay dyan, poster, protecting the, the marine ecosystem. We have uh, activity number two, which is flower dissection. So, take a look at the scores. Ayan na po yung scores ng bata. Okay. And then, you can also hear, uh, see here in grades, students who have not uh, submitted their requirements. So, for example, this pupil, okay, hindi pa po siya nagsagot. So, nakalagay dyan is missing. Okay. This activities naman, meron na pong scores. So, meaning to say, na-check na po ni teacher. Ayan. This one, hindi pa po nagagawa. So, for example, ano yun natin, mayroon ng, mayroon ng submission. Okay. So, how are we going to grade it? Okay, balik po tayo. So, class work. Okay. For example, I want this brackish water. Okay. So, let us answer it. So, for example, ayan. So, since I have 27 students, so 27, it was assigned to 27 students. And then, pag nagsagot na po sila, makikita natin na nag-turn in na, magdito na. So, I'll just show you another activity. Okay, kuha tayo dito. For example, this one. So, here, meron pong turn in na 24. Meron pong dalawa na assign. At mayroon po akong isa na binigyan ng grade. Okay? So, we can take a look at that. So, for example, click natin. Ayan. Activity number two. Flower dissection. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina. That when you uh, you assign or when you, you choose ed, uh, an individual copy, make a copy for each student. So, lahat sila magkakaroon po ng kanya-kanyang copy ng activity. So, hindi po sila mag-aagawan in editing one activity. So, here, all of them has a material or an activity to answer. So, for example, ayan, turn in. Miss, bakit po ganyan? Naka-turn in na. May score na ba yan? Yes, may score na. But then, Si teacher, hindi po niya ni-return. Kaya po nakaganyan. Kaya nakalagay po sa turn in. How about yung graded? I already returned the work of this kid or this pupil. How about yung assign? Hindi pa po gumagawa. So here, meaning to say, when we open this, we can monitor at once or we can see at once ilan na ang nagpasa, ilan na ang hindi pa nagpapasa, or ilan na ba ang na-check nyo. Usually, ganito, minsan hindi natatapos grade done, di ba? 
Minsan, is kagaya niya, isa pa lang ang nag-grade ang ko. Ayan. Isa pa lang ang na-return ko. So, meaning to say, isa pa lang nandyan. Now, there are ways on how to return the work of our students. Okay, for example, ito. Okay, for example, ito. I'm going to open it. Okay. So, I usually, yung rubrics natin, okay, is it automatic? Hindi po. Hindi po automatic na mas na nag-degrade po yun. Tayo po mismo, manual pa rin. So, for example, I have your content, 10 points. Okay? So, kunwari, lalagay ko siya, lalagay ko siya, uh, okay. Lalagay ko dyan is 9 lang. Okay? And then, Mm, so process, sabihin natin, 5 lang ang process niya. After taking a look at the different criteria nung, nung rubric natin. So take a look, teachers. So automatically, yun lang, yun ang gagawin niya, ia-add niya. The best kid or best student had re uh, will receive 19 as a score. So after that, pwede na natin return Or we can have a private comment here. For example, excellent work. Okay. And, okay. And then, we can now return the work of our pupils or students individually. Pwede po yun. So, click return. So, this student will receive her or his work. Okay. And then, balik tayo. Yeah. Tignan ninyo yung graded, naging 2. Because I already graded the, or returned the work of one student. So, naging dalawa na po. Now, other ways, ayan, we can also return this ng sabay-sabay. Yes, teachers, we can return this ng sabay-sabay. How? How can we return this? Okay. So, punta lang po tayo sa grades. Okay? So, for example, ito, yung grades. I want to return flower dissection all at the same time. Okay, for example, kasi sometimes I check, I check without returning. Why? Kasi if I return it individually, matagal. Nakita niyo po kanina, when I return one work, Diba? Return this to student, gano'n. So, if I had 27 students, so 27 na matatagalan po ako. So, usually, kaya gano'n po yung nangyari dyan kanina or nakita nyo na mayroong may, na-turn in na, pero wala na siya sa assign, pero wala pa sa graded. So, na-check ko na, but I haven't returned it. So, that is one way na I, might, I maximize my time para makagawa ako ng mas marami. So one uh, uh, one way to do it is click this ellipsis. Tapos so, kita niyo doon mayroon dong return all. Yes, teachers. Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, we can return this nang sabay-sabay. Okay, gawin natin. Okay. So for example, natatakpan ko, natatakpan return. Okay. Yan, returning. So it is now returning. Okay, let us go back to our classroom. So, what happened now? Tingnan natin yung ating flower dissection. Okay, take a look. Ayan na siya. So, all the graded or all the activities na ni-return ko, when I return it, lahat sila, since my grade na, it is now undergraded, pero meron pa rin pong tatlo pala na hindi nagsasagot. Okay? So, pwede natin i-click to and then makikita natin sino yung mga hindi pa nagsasagot. So, ganun po yung teachers. Okay? So, what else? What are the other things that we can do here? Okay? So, grades. Other ways um, to manipulate grades. So, here, sabi nga ni Sir, kanina, may nagtanong, so, isisingit ko na po, Paano po yung names? Okay, I usually, ito po ginagawa ko sa high school students ko. I don't do this sa elementary kasi baka hindi pa nila kaya. 
I ask them or in our school, so pwede niyo i-adopt if you want, um, nagpapalagay po kami ng class number. Malaki pong tulong na may class number. Why? Pag dinownload po natin ang grades, di ba naka-arrange na? Ito kasi, pag dinownload na rin alphabetical errors by first name. So, it is sort by first name. Pwede po natin yung sort by last name. Okay. So, tingnan niyo, hindi pa rin siya nag-last name. Kasi usually, pag bata, hindi pa niya alam gamitin yung, yung mga how. How to, to edit his or her profile. So, since na-touch ko to, sige, pakita ko po sa inyo, for example, mm -hmm. Okay. Pero mayroon isang pasaway. Ayun. Tago na lang natin siya. So, here, hindi sila naka-assign. Ayan. So, meron po akong isang, ano, isang, isang classroom kanina. Since malapit na po akong mag-download ng mga grades, so, I, I've asked them na ilagay ang class number. Usually, ganito po ginagawa namin sa, sa, sa school. Class number and then, and then their, their surname and then their first name. So, maka-arrange po lahat yan. So, pag-download natin ng grades, ayun. Ano mangyayari po? All the names, nakasort na. So, hindi na po tayo mahihirapan. Okay? Naisingit ko lang po to kasi naalala na, 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 ko yung tanong kanina. So, let us go back to grades. Okay. Balik po tayo kay grade 5 was done. Okay. Punta tayo sa grade. Now, how to download grades? Ayan. So, for example, ayan na, yung mga grades na to, kailangan ko ng record. Okay, then, uh, na-return ko na to. Hindi pa din. So, return muna natin, ha? Okay, naka-return na. This one, return na rin. Okay, this one, return all. It is already returned. Kasi hindi po natin mag-download yung grade kapag hindi naka-return. I'm sorry po. Malik po tayo kay... Ano yung binuksan natin kanina? Flower dissection. So let us open this. Now, in downloading a grade, okay, there is a gear icon here. So, we can download our grades through copy all grades to Google Sheets, download all grades as CSV, or download this grade as CSV. So, what is the difference between this three? Ito, copy all grades to Google Sheets, meaning to say it will generate a Google Sheet for us. Okay, so let us try. Okay. Ang dami nang nakabukas. There you are. Okay. Tago muna natin to. Okay. Hide. Okay. Hide muna natin. Okay. So, for example, ayan. So, meron na tayong, ano, di ba? Meron na tayong, meron na tayong Google Sheet. So, we can now see this course. Now, Ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kapag naka-class number, okay? So, maayos na. We can copy-paste or nandiyan na agad. Naka B1, B2, B3, B4, sunod-sunod na, di ba? So, it, it is a, uh, of great help. So, minsan, kailangan lang nating mag-isip ng way on how to make our work easier. Sabi nga, ba't natin gagawin, uh, ba't natin gagawin sa isang mahirap na paraan kung meron namang way para maging madali. Isn't it? Okay, so next, after the Google Sheets, we can download all 
grades as CSV. So lahat uli, lahat ng, ng activities or all the scores will be downloaded. Lahat ng activity. So ito na po siya. Okay? Ayan. So ito na. Here is our or here is the, re the result of all our activities. Last one is download this grade. So here, you are going to download only the scores of this activity. Yun po yung pagkakaiba nilang tatila. Okay. Now, aside from, the, uh, aside from all the things that I have discussed, by the way, teachers, I am using my personal account. So since I am using my personal account, just like what my other colleagues have discussed a while ago, may malaking difference. Um, may mga nawawala, may mga features that are not present here on my account. So for example, plagiarism, hindi ko po magawa yon. Okay, importing grades, hindi ko rin po magawa yon. So importing grades will be discussed by Sir Hamin. So, he will help me in, discuss, in discussing it. Okay? So, hanggang doon na lang po. Um, if there are questions, clarifications, pwede po natin gawin. Okay po? We'll just wait for Professor Hamim to go in to discuss. Um, uh, yun, go ahead. Um, Professor Hamim, you'd like to uh, show, uh, if you can, can, can still show no? uh, the um, uh, importing of grades quickly. Which are sorry you know, if we uh, went over time, no? but I hope uh, the very detailed uh, discussion um, is uh, actually worth it. Naman. Okay. Yeah. So we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll, uh, no? we'll, um, we'll, Go ahead, Sir Ramim, okay, for uh, show that part lang. Sige pa. Uh, napakaganda, no? Kasi na nakita natin kung anong benefits ng Google for Workspace Education Account at saka yung personal account. Kasi yung ginagamit po ni Ma'am Jane ay ang kanyang personal account. So may mga limitations po ang, ang personal account. One of the limitations ay yung pag-import ng grades. So let me share with you my screen. This is just a very quick... Uh, Run walk through on how would you import your uh, grades. All right. So, ito po ano? Pag ito po yung aking subject na Jack 106. This is purposive communication. And then, kung pupunta po tayo sa isang test, no, for example, itong comprehensive exam for retakers, i-view po natin muna yung, ito po yung naka-attach na Google Form, no? Kanina, diniscuss ni Ma'am Jane kung paano ng Google Form. So, i-view po natin yung assignment. Again po, no? I-view yung assignment, click the view assignment, i-redirect po kayo dito sa isang, sa, sa tab na ito. Ngayon, makikita po natin dito sa side yung import grades. Dito po. Oh, yung import grades na yan. So whatever po na naging scores ng mga estudyante dito po sa kanilang Google Form, no, sa pag-answer ng, ng, ng test na ito sa Google Form, may import po siya dito sa Google Classroom. So pipindutin lang po natin itong import grades, tapos i-click lang yung import. Pag na-click na import, automatically malalagyan na ng grade itong mga students. After that, pwede na pong i-return yung kanilang uh, grades. Pero, ma ma may enable lang po itong import grades if nung nag-create po kayo ng activity na ito, ay inon po ninyo yung import grades. For example po, ano, kung nag-create kayo ng activity na to, for example, if we will edit this one para makita po ninyo, kung itong grade importing sa baba, makikita po ninyo, Kung naka-on po yan, automatically, pag na, pwede mo nang i-import grades, yung grades from Google Form to Google Classroom. Pag naka-disable po kasi ito, mawawala yung import grades na button doon sa uh, classwork. So, yun lamang po. 
yung paano mag-import ng grades. Very simple lang, uh, pero very, very useful and naka, nakakabawas ng time for checking sa atin ng mga teachers. So, yun lamang po. I would like to add, Sir Franco, no? Go ahead, Sir John. All right. Uh, importing grades is only applicable to multiple choice questions po. Uh, later po, in one of our April series po, we will be discussing Google Forms. So in using Google Forms, there are there is a setting there that you can set the correct answer and the points that you will be giving in that specific question. So if you're going to import score, automatically Google Form will check your quiz. So it is only applicable to multiple choice questions. And if you are using uh, or if you will give an activity, po, just like, for example, essay or writing activity, it is, um, I would refer to use Google Docs and just put a uh, rubrics po, by clicking uh, the exact points and automatically Google will compute the as course of the students. So that's all, Sir Franco. Yes, maraming salamat, no? Actually, um, napakahalaga niya, no? Uh, kanina yung mga diniscuss, for example, ni Miss Jane, no? Actually, yung mga classworks na yan, isa yan sa pinaka-nakukuntis minsan yung mga teachers natin, no? How to use, but for example, bakit may separation pa yung assignment to quiz assignment? Pwede bang uh, assignment na lang, no? Kasi pwede ka naman para sa mag-attach ng Google, <laughs> ng, uh, ng, ano, ng Google form for that, no? Pero, you just nakikita nyo, no? Yung differences niya is that, um, Per classwork, there is a specific way to use it, okay? Kasi kapag, for example, you don't use the classworks properly, you will end up uh, ano, ano, ha, giving your students a hard time and also yourself. For example, I have encountered some teachers na nag-assign ng material pero meron pala silang submission na gustong hingin. Magkakaroon ka ng problema doon kasi si material uh, teacher, na si material classwork, wala siyang submission button, okay? So, hindi makakapag-submit si students, okay? So, for example, if you'd like to have submissions, you should always check on assignment or quiz assignment, okay? And for example, gusto mo lang naman palang magkaroon ng uh, short recitation, okay? Uh, so, you don't need, for example, a Google Docs, no? Uh, the discussion feature or the question, uh, I don't know, um, classwork would already um, ano, provide you with that option, okay? So, teachers, ang pinakamalaga doon sa uh, discussion kanina ni Miss Jane is that uh, we have to know exactly what's our intention okay so dapat doon tayo lagi nagsa-start no anong intention natin um, when we're designing a, an assessment or a classwork or an asynchronous task eh, oh, sorry asynchronous task etc no okay? uh, because that would determine what kind of classwork we can assign to them okay so yun yung pinakamahalaga doon no ah gusto ko lang ano i-clarify kanina no kasi yung inexplore ni Miss Jane kanina uh, on the grading calculation is uh, the total points no uh, you, you can actually uh, actually marami marami rin sa mga teachers natin gumagamit ng uh, yung percentage okay so meron din po yan sa kay Google Classroom no okay so share ko lang to quickly teachers okay uh, doon sa pinakita ni Miss Jane kanina doon sa option na to the no, uh, uh, grade calculation so, meron ka pa doon isang category na tinatawag, sorry, isa pang way no, to calculate your grades, yung tinatawag na weighted by category, okay? So, sa weighted by category naman, teachers, kay kanina, ang ginawa ni Miss Jane, pinakita niya yung, uh, na nagkinocompute yung total points, okay? Kapag weighted by category, you're going to assign percentage, okay? So, for example, mag-add tayo ng category dito, for example, quiz, and we're gonna give it uh, 50%. Ang ibig sabihin lang ito, teachers, no? Um, kapag naka-weighted by category ka, regardless of the number of points you assign. For example, nag-assign ako ng 1,000 points. Grabe, ang, ang terror na teacher dito. 1,000 points sa, sa quiz ko, no? 1,000 items. Uh, regardless of the points you're going to assign, it will be computed against the percentage, okay? So, for example, this one is yung peta ni Miss, ano? Miss, Miss J, this is the performance task ba to? Mga performance task-based, ah. Uh, Tama yes, po. Yes. 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 Oo. familiar na ako sa mga terms ng ano eh, sa ano natin. Okay. So, yan, for example, no? So, two, uh, two categories lang ako, 50% each. You can add more categories, pero you only have 100% to partition. Okay? Hindi ka pwede lumampas ng 100%. Okay? So, kailangan mong i-divide yung 100% among the categories that you will make. Okay? So, this one is another useful way to grade it. Okay? Pero again, marami ako alam din. For example, naka-letter grades ka. Okay? So, you don't want a computation, okay? So, pwede namang no, no overall ka, no overall grades, i-record lang ni, ano, ni, ni, ano, ni, uh, ni Google Classroom 
yung grades mo. Okay? Um, sir, kanina, um, Sir John, dun sa ano natin, um, tama no, gusto ko lang i, ano yun, i-emphasize yun. Okay? Na, kasi marami rin minsan nag, nag, ano, na nag-tatanong uh, or nakukonfuse bingsan. Nag-assign sila ng question pero hindi na check ni uh, Google Classroom, ah, ni Google Form, no? Hindi po siya automatic, no? Uh, you'll have to set the answer key and you'll have to set the form into a quiz type to be checked by Google Cla by Google Form. Again, uh, we will not preempt that much uh, that, that area because we have uh, a, a whole um, session on Google Forms on um, our last day, no? on April 30. Yan, okay? So, yeah, maraming maraming sa teachers. Uh, I think we still have some time no, for uh, questions okay, from our audience. Okay? So, uh, we'll now open the panel discussion. If you have um, uh, questions or concerns. Okay? Ay, kanina, may nagtanong no, si um, uh, one of our admins, uh, si Teacher Pao, okay, about transferring um, ownership of your class, uh, classes. Pwede po yun. No? Uh, for example, daw, ang situation is may teacher na gumawa siya ng class, nandun na yung mga students. Okay? Um, pero bigla siyang nilipat ng class, no? So, hindi na niya magiging class yun. And it will have to be transferred to another teacher. That's doable, okay? Pero teachers, please take note, no? Uh, so, pag, if you want to do that, you have to add the teacher first as a collaborator, okay? Once added as collaborator, lalabas na po dun siya sa list of collab uh, teachers. Tapos meron ka dong ellipses, no? Pinakita po ni Sir John yan kanina. Uh, dun sa ellipses, you can, um, meron dong option, make the owner, okay? Pero, Ano lang, please be reminded, you cannot transfer ownership outside of a domain. Okay? So, for example, si teacher John, hindi siya pwede mag-transfer ng ownership to another school, okay? Or another teacher from another school. Similar to uh, to Professor Hamim, no? So, they can't transfer. You can only transfer ownership within your particular domain. Okay? Uh, teacher uh, Myram, yung po attendance will be giving a, uh, a little later. Okay? Uh, teachers, other questions? Okay, or um, sobrang detailed kayo yung discussions ng <laughs> tatlong speakers natin for today, no? Uh, I think uh, we do not have questions again. Uh, ito, question from uh, Teacher Jennifer. Um, uh, you might want to, um, Teacher Professor Hamim, Sir John, Miss Jane, why is it difficult to import a rubric using Google Sheets? Do you have a way or format for this? Well, well, actually, in creating a rubric, po, uh, whenever you are doing a classwork activity, so meron po doon sa ating Google Classroom. Um, can I share my slide to you, sir? <laughs> or... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, all right. Share my screen, I mean. All right. Uh, what I'm uh, talking here is um perhaps you can encounter a problem po regarding sa paggawa po ng activity or rubrics but my suggestion only teacher is just click this uh, rubric for example if you have done with uh writing an activity here and you want to add uh, the rubric but i think the proper way of doing this is through a <clears throat> google docs no and then after you create after you created a Google Docs, then just click here the rubric and create a rubric. So just copy paste it. So each criterion will be uh, asked here. Kung anong criterion po or the title, the criterion required, the criterion description, and how many points that you want to place on that specific criterion. And if ever teachers that you uh, will make. Uh, an activity to another classroom and you want to use that same rubric, you can also reuse that same rubric by uh, clicking reuse rubric and selecting that particular Google Classroom. So yun yes. po, um, the easy way for me, uh, in my own opinion, by uh, using Google Classroom and maybe using rubric uh, essay, uh, rubric based on giving points sa mga essay activities natin. So, gagawa po tayo ng uh, rubrics by using this one that I am presenting right now. Yes, no. Uh, tama po, no, si Sir John, tama Sir John, no? When you want to create a rubric, it's better to create it uh, native, no, sa Google Classroom. Uh, pero actually, madali na, for example, kung meron ka na existing, copy-paste mo lang yun, eh. For example, lahat ng, ano mo, ng uh, criterion mo, lahat ng uh, descriptions mo, 
ipipaste, copy paste mo lang yun dun sa Google Classroom, it will create it. And again, teachers, no, uh, it will only be hard sa start, no, kasi nagbibuild ka pala ng resources mo. Pero imagine, for example, nakapag-set ka na ng rubrics mo for one of your classes, next year, lahat ng mga ano yan, mga materials niyan are ready for you to use kasi lahat yan nasa database mo na, okay? Kaya yung sabi for example, ni Sir John kanina, no, I also agree, no, kapag hindi nyo na po kailangan si Google, uh, yung classes nyo, i-archive nyo na. Pero, I always suggest that archiving be done, no, um, at least, um, let, let, uh, allow one more year for the class to, to stay para po ma-reuse nyo yung mga posts doon or mga materials from that class, okay? So, yun. So, magandang suggestion from um, Sir John. No, uh, while we're waiting for for our ano no for our um, teachers to gives us more give us more questions okay let me just share with you uh, the updates no? coming updates no uh, this is from compiled by uh, John R Sowatch no um, about Google Classroom for 2021 so ito yung mga aabangan natin okay okay so um una una okay actually naka-launch na to teachers baka hindi niyo na notice kanina nakita niyo na po to sa so uh, stream nakikita niyo to sa lahat ng uh, assignment classworks meron ng rich text editing si Google Classroom so pwede ka na mag bold italic uh, etc no uh, when you're doing our postings hindi na siya yung uh, yung uh, very monotonous na uh, fonts no um, you can also have we will also have an offline support okay uh, magiging available to um, to um, Hopefully, up to fundamentals, no? Yung lowest tier ng Google Workspace or education. Uh, si Google Classroom, ibig sabihin, our students can now, kanina may mga problem kanina, Sir Jan, Professor Hamim, Miss Jane, about some teachers um, wanting to use Google Classroom, kaya lang may problem sa signal. So, ito na po yung solusyon, okay? Pwede na po mag-offline si Google Classroom, okay? Uh, meron na rin po kayo tatawag na improved photo submissions. Di ba po sometimes, meron tayong mga worksheets that we want to uh, submit, pero printed, lalo na po sa mga nagpiprint ng modules natin, meron na pong camera, magkakaroon na po ng camera button si Google Classroom para when you click, no, uh, to, when you want to turn in a submission, meron kang camera button, point it to the to the worksheet, take a uh, snapshot and then submit. Okay? So, dire-diretso. Hindi mo na kailangan mag-take ng photo, uh, import pa, at, at etc. So, diretso ka na rin po. No? Uh, engagement tracking, uh, this will be for the administrators, no? Ayan, uh, Sir John, okay, magkakaroon ka na ng engagement tracking. Uh, makikita mo na exactly sino po ang pasok, kailan pumasok, anong ginawa, gano'ng kada, kadalas pumunta sa class, um, etc. No? Uh, pero, ito lang teachers, no? Siyempre, hindi, uh, kailangan pa nating abangan, no? Kung saan lalabas to, kasi meron dito would be um, limited, no? To the standards edition. Um, at saka sa teaching and learning uh, upgrade, okay? Ito, for um, those who are using Google for edu uh, Google Workspace for Education Plus, okay? So, uh, Professor Hamim, baka gusto po ng uh, MSU mag-upgrade, uh, mag mag no? Uh, Add-ons for classroom. So, magkakaroon na rin ng mga add-ons to classroom directly. Hindi na kailangan magkaroon pa ng extension, okay? So, meron ka na nga rin, katul katulad ng Google Slides, Google Docs at Google Forms, pwede ka na rin magkaroon ng add-ons na sobrang dami. For example, Nearpod add-on will be now inte be integrated no, to Google Classroom. Improve mobile grading. Uh, kayo na may nag-mention, mobile lang po kasi ginagamit namin, so limited kami. So ngayon, magkakaroon na po ng additional features sa mobile version para po ang mga teachers natin could also use the mobile version no um, without a problem so pwede kayong mag-grade pwede kayong mag-assign homeworks uh, you can do almost everything you know not every not everything pero almost okay um syempre preferred pa rin desktop saka laptop pa rin teachers no okay uh, SIS roster sync well unfortunately teachers this is only for the Google workspace for education plus so pag-isipan natin if we want to upgrade to that ang ibig sabihin lang to teachers no itong SIS roster sync Pwede ka na ngayon, hindi ka na magbibigay ng code, hindi ka na magbibigay ng invite link, hindi ka na mag invite via email. You will now be able to put students directly into your classes. So, wala na silang choice. Nandun sila sa class mo bago pa mag-start ang taon. Okay? And of course, improve meet integration. Ang ibig sabihin nito, teachers, um, pag nag-start ka ng, pinakita po ni Sir John kanina, pag nag-start ka ng uh, Google Meeting link kay, uh, uh, via Google Classroom, no one will be able to join your uh, Google Meeting except those members of your class. Okay. Plus your co your co teachers, your collaborators in your class 
will also be automatically become your co-host. Okay, big sabihin, pwede silang pumasok before you kasi co-host mi sila. Okay? And you trust them because they are the teachers as well. Okay? So, for example, na late ka, um, and for example, um, papakusapan mo yung co-teacher mo, ikaw muna mag-open ng class natin, you can do that already uh, here uh, in 2021. Okay? Abangan lang natin sa ang version siya lalabas. Okay? Yan yung pinakaabangan natin. Pero hopefully, uh, madami dito lumabas or uh, ma-include sa Google Workspace for um, um, Education Fundamentals, no? Okay? Para po lahat tayo ay makinabang. Okay? So, um, teachers, no? Um, before we uh, end officially or formally, okay? Uh, I'd like to first recognize, no, the, the expertise, no? And, uh, of course, the willingness to share of our speakers for today, okay? And uh, with this, I'd like to present uh, these uh, certificates, okay, uh, for uh, our speakers. Sorry. Okay, so uh, I'd like to um, present this uh, certificate of recognition. Kaagapay teacher support would like to recognize the valuable contribution of um, Hamim B. Kasan as a guest speaker in the recently concluded webinar entitled April Series, all about Google for Education, okay? Signed yours truly and uh, by our my co-administrators, uh, Sir Angelo B. Maliari, Miss Paula May J. Mendoza, and Sir Joseph Angelo Santos. Okay, and similar um, uh, certificate would uh, be also be given to um, ad our uh, other speakers, um, Sir Jan Marie Malco, and also Miss Jane R. Santos. Yeah, maraming maraming salamat po again, uh, Professor Hamim, Sir Jan, and Miss Jane for this afternoons. Uh, I think. Our teachers, no, kahit po nag-overtime tayo, <laughs> uh, are, are very contented. Um, and uh, well, ano, no? uh, sabi nga nila, parang refresher course kasi gumagamit sila ng Google Classroom pero uh, ang dami palang pwede pang pag-aralan, pwede pang tingnan. Okay? Ngayon, teachers, um, Sir Professor Hamim, Sir John, um, maybe a very, very quick message to our teachers okay? as, um, as we move forward to yet another okay, distance learning year for 2021. Go ahead po. Uh, siguro po, we'll start with uh, Professor Hamim. Well, hello, everybody. Uh, thank you for the opportunity for uh, to, to share with you, every, to share with uh, the co-teachers here. And uh, of course, uh, sana wag po tayong mapagod to learn more, ano? Uh, this pand this health crisis has made uh, has given us opportunities to enhance and to adapt to the global trends now no, in education. So, sana at least maging sana maging at par tayo sa uh, educational system ng other uh, progressive countries. So, sana this is the start of of being progressive uh, teachers and being globally competitive teachers. Para, para na rin ito kinapagatan natin students. Thank you very much for, for watching. Sir John? Okay, uh, teachers, so distance is not a hindrance for us to teach as uh, an educator po. And one thing that I would like to invite, uh, I, I would like to say is to invite our viewers po, teachers to take also the Google uh, certified uh, education educator example. So we are actually Sir Franco with the best of Sir Franco. We also, Ma'am Jane, Sir Hamin, uh, and I myself was his student before we took the example as a GCE. So I also encourage everyone to uh, take the exam. And if you have, if still you have questions, nahihirapan kayo in uh, using uh, Google for Education tools, meron pong program si Sir Franco and the Agapay Teacher Support to help us po in uh, using Google for Education tools. So yun lang po Sir Franco and thank you so much for uh, watching and I hope that you have learned something uh, from our discussion this afternoon. Yes. Sir John, eh, ano ko lang, no, i-correct ko lang na hindi na lang ako to kasi meron na akong 61 Google Certified Educators who will be helping with this advocacy. So, ang dami na. Okay, so, um, sobrang gumaan na yung trabaho, no, uh, because, because uh, with um, all of you, no, right now, for example, no, uh, I didn't do much today, but uh, our, our, our community learned so much from all of you, okay? Uh, go ahead, Miss Jane. 
Okay, good afternoon again. So, gaya na sabi po ni Sir John kanina, sabi niya, don't let distance as a hindrance. Ako naman, eto po ang sasabihin ko. Huwag pong gawin hindrance ang age. <laughs> ang ating edad. Okay, sabi ko nga kay Sir Hamim, nag-usap kami, mga anak ko na ako kayo. Yes, kasi minsan nasasaktim na ano pag sabi niya mga Jurassic daw they call they call the the ano ba ano bang ano namin are we ano bang generation po kami <laughs> Ay, digital <Jurassic>. migrants <laughs> sabi ko nga na huwag po nating gawing hindrance ang ating age to tell you the truth wala po akong computer subject nung high school nung college po ako ang naabutan ko pa is Spanish Spanish class Third year, high school, third year college yata ako nagkaroon ng computer. But then, bigla po ako naging computer teacher. Ayun. So parang living, ano na siguro ang sarili ko, lagi ko sinasabi sa mga kasamahan ko, sa mga ka-age ko, huwag natin gawing hindrance. Mga co-teachers ko, or, or all the teachers na nakikinig ngayon, huwag po natin gawing hindrance yung age natin. Kaya po natin, kahit na sabi nila, mas magagaling daw yung mga bata when it comes to technology. Sabi ko nung nakaraan, eto lang po ang ano ko, mabagal na po yung kamay kong kumilos, pero hindi pa po yung utak po namin mga senior teachers. Ayun po. <laughs> By the way, sir, may nakita kasi akong ano, question. Yung doon, so parang gusto kong isagot din, sabi, paano daw naging alphabetically arranged yung aking... Mm-hmm sa aking mga students. Actually, I asked them to to change their profile name in their in their ano email their email account. So I have here, kunwari, mayroon akong isang section talagang from B1 up to B11 sunod-sunod na po iyon. So bali ganun po ina-adapt kasi namin sa school even in our ano in our synchronous class, yung aming mga name for for example yung pangalan, hindi ko susulat na Jane lang. Susulat mo dyan is, kunwari, G10 Santos J. Ganon. Kaya the teacher, once na pagkakita niya, nakikita din niya yung, nakikita niya yung class numbers. Yes. So, ginagawa, at tapos ginagawa na B01, B02. Kasi pagka B1, ang kasunod B11. So hindi po magkakasunod-sunod. Ganon lang po yung ginagawa namin. Kaya lang. Pero ano po? Why? Yeah. 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 Na, pero, yeah. Monitoring lang po talaga. Yes. Teachers, please take note though no, that uh, the system that's being used by uh, Miss Jane is the one that's being used for personal Google account. Okay? Kasi ang students po uh, have no capacity to change their uh, profile names under sa uh, Google Workspace for Education kasi handled po yan ng inyong Google Admin Console. Okay? Um, so yung ginagawa po niya Miss Jane is just like a uh, work around in order to uh, facilitate better management of their students no even using a personal Google account. That's a testament teachers no na kahit po personal Google account ang gamit niyo hindi po yan limitation sa paggamit ng Google for Education tools. Meron lang advantage syempre kapag Google works for education ka pero hindi po yan hadlang no. Um so yun, okay so you can always do that okay? You can always um uh, ano at uh, um do uh, workarounds like that. Okay. So yun, again, maraming maraming salamat, um, Professor Amin, Miss Jane, and uh, Sir John. I'll be, uh, go ahead, and um, I'll be, um, um, say good, uh, we'll, uh, the committee will be saying goodbye to you now for now, okay? And we'll be seeing you again, okay? Uh, because teachers, no, this will not be the last time you will, you're going to see uh, these brilliant speakers. This is only the start, okay? Because uh, for the entire year, we have uh, planned no, uh, programs and activities for our Google Certified Educators to share their expertise with uh, to you, or with you, sorry, with you, uh, here at Kaga by Teacher Support. Okay, so maraming salamat again. And teachers, siguro we can give uh, a virtual round, warm round of applause to our speakers for today who have uh, bravely and enthusiastically shared their expertise to us today. Okay, maraming, maraming salamat. Okay, so uh, teacher, uh, um, Professor Mim, Sir John, and Miss Jane will just... Uh, Say goodbye for you, uh, to you now uh, as I just did um, our uh, evaluation thing. Okay, teachers, um, now it's time for your uh, evaluation. Okay. So here's the evaluation link that uh, will be used for your um, uh, certificates. Okay. 
please make sure to um, to accomplish this. This will be available until Saturday, uh, 8 p.m. And um, uh, please make sure that you input the correct um, your name format, okay, the way that you want it to appear on your certificates. Second. Um, is uh, please make sure that you input correctly your email address because usually, uh, pag nagkakamali yung email address, nagbabounce back sa amin yung certificates, okay? Second, yung name, kapag mali yung name, nagkakamali po ng name sa inyong certificate. So please make sure that um, that uh, ano, uh, uh, all of these are correct, okay? At uh, thank you, uh, Teacher Pao, okay, for uh, clarifying that uh, it uh, works now, okay? Now, teachers, uh, while you're answering your evaluation, uh, some again, some updates lang tayo, okay? Um, so, um, again, on Saturday, we'll be having our, our continuation, our part two in building virtual classes using Google for Education tools. This time, we'll be featuring my favorite, favorite tool, no? Uh, which is uh, Google Sites, no? Uh, uh, nung pumasok po kay Google, una akong na-inlove, no? More than kay Google Classroom, mas na una akong na-inlove kay Google Sites. But of course, lah lahat yung mga tools na yan, sobrang mahal ko because uh, it can help you a lot, no? most especially in distance learning. Pero si Google Sites, yung talagang, um, kumbaga sa, ano, uh, unang nagpatibok ng puso ko kay Google. Okay? Diyan ako, na-fall na ako kay Google dahil kay Google Sites. Okay? So, uh, we'll be, uh, <laughs> we'll be uh, looking at Google Sites uh, next um, meeting um, as a, a tool for uh, building your virtual classes for those who are in the um, um, higher levels, like, for example, high school and uh, tertiary level, Google Sites might be, just might be, the option for you because it presents uh, a more, I don't know, more millennial kind of setup for a, a virtual class, okay, compared to Google Classroom, which uh, works primarily more, no, for uh, for uh, younger kids or uh, middle years. But again, of course, it depends, okay. But uh, I, this is something that you can uh, fully explore, okay. And of course, don't forget, teachers, no, that um, our application for Batch Ten, as mentioned by uh, Sir John earlier. Batch 10 and 11 for Google uh, Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals Training Program. That's the one meant to prepare you for the Google Certified Educators Level 1 will be on April 26. So, pakitag na po, pakimart na sa calendars, pakilagay na sa ating mga uh, index cards, index cards talaga, <laughs> pakilagay na po sa ating mga notebooks, okay, sa ating uh, reminders, okay, para po alam na natin when to... Um, uh, to apply no, for batch 10 and 11. Okay? Nasa batch 8 pa lang po kami ngayon, kaya lang si batch 9 po, puno na rin po. Okay? So, wala na po tayong slots for that. Okay? And, um, of course, no, um, abangan din po natin no, yung uh, launching natin ng, uh, ng batch 1 for the Google Certified, Google Workspace for Education Advanced Training Program. That's naman for those who have passed already the uh, Google Certified Educators Level 1. Okay? And if you're interested as well, teachers, do visit our website kasi meron kaming um, open class for Google Certified Educators uh, examination. Okay? So, for example, wala po kayong time. Sabi, alam po natin, sobrang busy po kayo. Uh, gumawa po kami ng full module that you can take asynchronously on your own pace um, para po makapag-prepare kayo for the Google Certified Educators examination on your own free time. Okay? Para po mas ma-accommodate po natin. Um, uh, teacher, Sister Navarro, okay, uh, is this for the um, evaluation form? Sister, baka ano lang yan, baka naka-firewall lang, kaya nag, uh, nag uh, ano siya, nag, uh, nag, um, nag inform siya, okay? Pero, uh, rest assured, Sister, uh, ano yan, safe naman yan, okay? Okay. Now, teachers, I think that um, that the um, the link is working. Uh, there are people already who have um, who are done with the evaluation. So again, many thanks, teachers, and uh, we'll see you on Saturday for the part two of our April series. Okay. Maraming maraming salamat, teachers, and have a nice evening. Okay. Sister Navarro, proceed lang po kayo. Okay. Don't worry. Alright. Thank you, teachers, and have a nice evening. I'll see you on Saturday.